in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed there is that which is able to create a supply for your every need, the Word of God, and the Spirit of Truth, the Holy Spirit, who helps us represent God's fullness on earth. In true intimacy, partnership, and fellowship with Him. Be a part of this and join us as the servant of God, Apostle Joshua Stelman brings to you the Word of God with simplicity and power. Give your hands and declare how much you need the Lord. Go ahead and express yourself. Say, Lord, I need you. I need you, the psalmist said, as the deer pants after the water brooks. He says, so my soul longs after you. Inside and outside, lift your voice and declare how much you need him. He only feels those who are thirsty. The Bible says, blessed are they that hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Lord, we need you. Thank you, Jesus. More of you. More of you, oh Lord. We will never have enough. More of you. This is why we came tonight. Express yourself sincerely to the Lord. Tell him why you came tonight. And in case you don't know why you came, think about it again. Blessed are they that hunger and thirst, for they shall be filled. Lord, we want more of your glory, more of your power, more of your presence. We want to know you. Hallelujah. 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 Never forget why you are in the Lord's presence. Every time you show up in his presence, make sure that you don't get carried away by the things that are happening, that you forget that he's in this place. Hallelujah. Now pray and say, Lord, do something in my life tonight. Do something. Sheta bako sata balada boxta. Lord, change someone's life, heal someone's life, deliver someone. Yes, Lord. Do this for your glory. Make sure you're praying from the depths of your heart. This is part of the meeting.
offerings of your spirit. Transform, change. We thank you for the gift of your presence in our midst. We cannot do anything outside of your presence. Hallelujah. You know, the presence of God remains the secret of anything. I don't care what it is. The presence of God. If you lack, listen, listen carefully. If you lack the presence of God, it's possible to have the power of God and his presence can fade out of your life. Are you listening to me? It's always possible. You can chase power. You can pray for power. And you can get it without the presence of God. But the presence of God is a direct product. It's a state of the health of your fellowship with the Holy Ghost. This is the litmus test of whether or not you are in fellowship with the Holy Ghost. It's not necessarily power. A man can stay and not pray for one year. He may be absent in God's presence for one year and still lay hands on someone and they will fall. But there is a presence. That one, you can't fake it. it it's, it's an aura. It, it, it gives people a picture of your current state with heaven. You can raise wheelchairs even if you never go to the secret place for years. These are gifts. But that atmosphere, that glory, when you stand and speak to people, the word of God comes into, they cannot even explain what, what is happening to them. That one is the presence of God. That's not power. That's not power. You can fake power, you cannot fake his presence. See, when you see a man who lives in the presence of God, when he stands before you, you may not understand intellectually what is happening, but you, you, you know that this is there, is, there is an intercourse, a current, present reality. Many lives do not have the presence of God. They have power. They have motions. They have people falling down. Have you been in a meeting that you don't even know God is there, but you just see crutches standing up? That's power. But the presence of God, the glory of God. No mortal being can stand in the glory of God and be the same. No matter how stubborn and hardened you are, something will, an impression will be left upon your spirit. Hallelujah. See, when the presence of God dries from a life, you will know. You just sense that everything around, you can still have motions of power, but there is a freshness. That freshness is absent in many lives. So you can hear a preacher, nice message, but the impact is not about shouting or not shouting. The Bible says he shall be like a tree that is planted by the rivers of waters which yields its fruit in season and whose leaf does not wither. That's a characteristic of the presence of God. Father, we pray that we will never lose your presence. Take away from us anything, whatever it is, that is capable of causing us to lose your presence. So I bow as I enter the throne room and I cast myself down at your feet, Lord, for you are holy, thou art holy. There is not like you, for in your presence, that is where I must be.
For in your presence, that is where I must be. For in your presence, that is where I must be. That is the place of my strength. In your presence, that is where I must be. Lord, in your presence, that's the place of wisdom. In your presence, that is the place of power. In your presence. That is the place of revelation in your presence. That is the place of authority in your presence. That is the place of glory. In your presence. That's where I am strong In your presence Oh Lord My God In your presence That's where I belong I am seeking your faith Touching your grace In the clefts of the rock In your presence Holy Spirit Thank you for your presence I truly can do nothing without you You have become my Lord my friend there is no ministry without your presence you are the secret always you are the secret of freshness you are the secret A.W. Toza, a man known to be the 21st century prophet, wrote a book, The Pursuit of God's Presence. This generation does not know how to practice the presence of God. We know how to pray. We know how to fast. We know how to stretch in tongues for hours and days. But we do not know how to cultivate the art of his presence. Holy Spirit, Thou art welcome in my life. Holy Spirit, Thou art welcome in this place. Holy, potent Father of mercy, and grace thou art welcome in this place 
Holy Spirit, you're truly welcome in my life. I'm worshiping Him. Holy Spirit, thou art welcome in this place. Omnipotent Father of mercy and grace. Thou art welcome. You are the fire in me. You are the power at work in me. You are my presence. Helper, Holy Spirit, I adore. You are that fire in me. You are the power at work in me. You are my ever-present helper, Holy Spirit, I adore. Girma, no kaka, hey abo, na kane, na kane, na kane, na kane, na kane, na kane. Hallelujah. Thank you for your presence. I have learned the value of your presence. I won't trade anything for your presence. I have learned the value of your presence, my King. I love your presence. Pray a prayer in one minute and say, Lord, cast me not away from your presence. Pray and say, Lord, may I not. Many of us have lost the experience of his presence. You're just operating power. I'm telling you. Your presence. This is part of the meeting. You can really get distracted and forget his presence. Your presence. I have learned the value of your presence. How can I? How can I lose your presence? What for? Make sure you are praying. This is part of the meeting. Hallelujah. The presence of God, the glory of God, can make a man, it can affect even your physical body. The glory of God, your physical body, it can keep you young 
fresh. This is not about money. It's not about prosperity. It's the glory of God. The glory of God can alter you. It can bring you into an atmosphere. This is not just power you invoke and prime. No, no. It's an atmosphere. You live there. You dwell there. You speak from there. You judge things from there. Moses said, show me your glory. God said, no man will see my glory and live. He said, however, I will let my goodness pass by you. And he covered Moses' eyes. And the Bible says he stepped and Moses saw eternity past. I'm very disturbed at how easily people can give up God's presence. To take something that can be found when his presence is treasured. What are you looking for? Fame? Money? Power? Charisma? Ministry? Anointing? Intelligence? You see, I'm telling you, the church of the Lord Jesus Christ, we've lost the art of God's presence. That you are praying. Prayer is not the same as the presence of God. Many people think that you are praying in tongues. Have you not seen people who pray week after week every day? But there are certain people when they step in it's an atmosphere it's an atmosphere in the glory i will stand help me with the symbol please i will stand and i will lift my hand In your glory, I will receive every miracle you have for me. In your glory, I will stand. I will stand and I will lift my hand in your glory I will receive every miracle you have for me I love your presence I truly love your presence more than gold more than silver oh I love your presence I love your presence I have learned the value of your presence better than power better than anointing I'm telling you Better than fame. Nothing can be compared to the presence of the Lord Jesus. See, without the presence of God, you don't have a message, you don't have a ministry, you don't have an assignment. Learn this. Everything you will ever be and do will only have value because there is a presence that backs you. Stop chasing after what his presence can give you. I have learned by experience. Moses said, Lord, do not send us from here. Yes, let the people say we are marking time. But don't send us if your presence will not go with us. He understood the value. Many of us have not been trained the, the presence of God is not goosebumps. The presence of God is not some ecstatic feeling. And the Lord walking with them. Not answering their prayers, walking with them. And the Lord 
making his habitation Father teach us your presence and help us to value your presence in the name of Jesus please be seated Hallelujah. His presence. How many of you truly love the Lord with your life? Let me see your hands. You truly love the Lord. Some of you love the Lord, but you don't truly love Him. You love Him, but not. Years ago, the Lord asked me and said, can you die for me? I said, no. I can face persecution for you. I can go through several things, but to die for you, no way. No way. I'm not sure I've gotten to that point. And he did something to my heart. I don't know what he did. I cannot explain. But I know I love him. Lord, I give you my heart. I give you my soul. I truly live for you alone. Every breath that I take. Every moment I'm away, have your way in me, Lord. I give you my heart, give you my soul. I live for you, every breath. That I take every moment I'm away. Would you have your way tonight? Have your way in me. Hallelujah. Have your way. Have your way. Have your way. In my life, have your way, Lord. I want to be under so much influence of the Holy Ghost. I want Him to possess every fiber of my being, just like a demon spirit possesses a man and begins to demonstrate His character through that man. I want to be so full of the Holy Ghost. The Bible says, and Stephen was full of the Holy Ghost to an extent that his face began to glow as though it were that of an angel. There is such a realm, there is such a realm where a man can become like a God upon the earth. Not by usurping authority over people, climbing a mountain in the spirit, the Bible talks of men who this earth was not worthy to receive. They contended for certain things that were higher in the spirit. Always examine yourself to find out whether you are losing his presence. Don't use miracles as a sign that the presence of God is still with you. The psalmist said, cast me not away. That means a man can be casted from his presence. Hallelujah. Thank you so much. It's good to have everyone around. We bless God for last week. Hallelujah. Celebrate God's servant, Pastor Williams. That was a powerful word. Thank you so much, sir. Hallelujah. It was a great time last week. I missed the house. 
I know some of you didn't miss me. You were very happy. I have good news for you. I'm back. Praise God. I'm back alive, strong. God kept me for your sake. You shout it more than ever until you change. Hallelujah. If you don't love God, you will not love me. James 1, verse 22. James 1. Please make sure you are writing. These are some of the few things you do that makes you know whether you are growing or you are not growing. If you've been coming here for a long time, if you're coming for the first time, it's okay. Or if you're not yet born again. But if you've been coming for a long time and you don't have a, a good notebook or notepad or jotter or something, or at least your phone, your notepad on your phone, that you can write out teachings, it tells me how much you value God. It's amazing how people give God so little of their life and time, yet they demand so much from him. Hallelujah. We give God a fraction, just a fraction of our attention, our lives. And then we sit back and wonder, Lord, why is my life not like so, so, so person's own? And God is saying, this person has given me all. Hallelujah. For as long as there was no more vessel, the oil stopped flowing. So make sure you write, pay attention to the things that are taught. It will build you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. James 1, 22. Did you hug one another? While seated, just turn to your neighbor and hug the person left or right. We didn't do that. We believe in love. Do it. Don't look at me. Some of you are frowning as if it's a curse. Hug one another. At least this is what we do now in, in lieu of holy kiss. Hallelujah. One day, I remember some years ago, I was in a relationship seminar and they asked me, they said, is there holy kiss in the church of God? Ah. I told them I want to be your friend. Don't ask me those questions. No. Hallelujah. At least I know that you can kiss a very small lady and a very old woman. If you truly love the person, you can kiss a very small lady like my sweetheart. Yeah? She always receives a kiss from me. And then very old. If you really love that old woman with agape, you should have no problem kissing the old woman and say, Mommy, nah. How did we get here? James 1. But be ye doers of the word and not hearers only deceiving yourselves. For if any be a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is like a man beholding his natural face in a mirror. For he beholdeth himself and goeth his way and immediately forgeteth what manner of man he was. Can you imagine? But whosoever looketh into the perfect law of liberty and continueth in it. Take note. He looks into the perfect law of liberty and he continues in it. He said, he be not a forgetful hearer, but a doer of the word. What's the reward? This kind of man shall be blessed in his deed. Hallelujah. Now, there are lots of believers who, as they begin to walk with God, they start saying, Lord, why am I not receiving results in my life? Why is brother so-so-so or sister so-so-so receiving results? And I've been born again for a long time. I come to church, I pray, and I fast. Hallelujah. But then, 
I'm not seeing the manifestation of God's word in my life. I'm not seeing evidences that show that I am truly walking with the word and that the word is working in my life. Hallelujah. And several times people send me text messages and say, I love God. I have done everything I know how to do. I mean, this thing is either the word is not working. I can't explain it. I've done everything I know how to do. I've prayed. I've fasted. You know, I read scripture. I even bought books. And I'm even doubting now whether this thing works or not. Hallelujah. Tonight I trust that God will help us examine that truth and then we'll pray. The Bible says, James 1 verse 22. Anyone with Amplified? James 1 22. I'm seeing a woman outside. You're holding a child. You came with a baby. I think you wore traditionals. Please, can I have that woman outside? You came with a baby. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. You came with a baby. Please, when you find that person, let her come. See a woman with a baby. Let's continue. James 1, 22. Amplified. Who is there? Because he too has not the word. Can you help her with a mic, please? I like the rendition. I'm still seeing the woman. A woman with a baby. Child. Small child. Not really a newborn baby like a few months. I think it may be maybe some years, a year or so. Yes. But be doers of the word. Obey the message. Listen. But be doers of the word. Obey the message. Okay? And not merely listeners to it. And not merely listeners to it. Okay? Betraying yourselves. Betraying yourselves. Into deception. Into deception. By reasoning contrary to the truth. By reasoning contrary to the truth. It says, obeying the message. See, a lot of people wonder why they don't see results in their lives. And they love God. They come to church. They are sincere people. Hallelujah. But over a long period of time, nothing, nothing at all seems to work in their lives. They have scriptures in their mind. They can quote scriptures. And then they wonder why these things are not working. And the Bible begins to give us an insight into what may be the possible cause. It says what? Be ye doers. Say after me, doers. Practitioners of the word. It says be ye doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving yourselves. That means in a crowd like this, there are people who can be hearers. Oh, glory. I'm hearing this word. I believe it. I take it. I receive it. Hallelujah. The Bible calls them hearers. But then it is possible that as the word of God is coming, you are hearing. But there is no willingness in you to practice the principles and live by the word. It says, do not be hearers only, deceiving yourselves. In other words, the, Bob, the Bible calls it self-deceit. Hallelujah. You are listening to the word just like everyone. You can quote the scripture just like everyone. You know the songs. You know all the religious cliches. But the Bible says that they are not practitioners of the word. They don't live by it. They are not committed to walking in the truth at all costs. Of the word and the bible calls that if you are a victim of that the bible says you have been deceiving yourself so it is possible for a man to deceive himself and there are many christians many pastors many members many great men and women of god who are living in deceit deceiving themselves they love god 
but they are not practitioners of God's word. Can I tell you something? The performance of the word is for doers. Faith is not just hearing what God has said. Faith is doing what God says. Without an action, without a doing, there is no faith. I'm telling you, many believers, born again, tongue-talking believers, are not practitioners of kingdom principles. They know it. And, and you see, look up, please, look up. The most dangerous thing that can happen to any man is for you to know certain truths and not practice it. Because anytime you hear someone teaching it, there is that hardness you already know. Hallelujah. You already know. But it's not working in your life. It's not producing results. That means something is wrong. He said, meditate on these things. Give yourself wholly to them. And it leaves you with a promise. He says, so that thy profiting will appear unto all. So could it be that we have many believers who hear the word? MP3s all the time in their ears. And not many are committed to the practice of God's word. You truly do not believe the word if you don't practice. Any part of scripture you have not been practicing is the part you don't believe. No matter how you try to convince yourself. According to God's principles, you have believed a thing truly if you are living by it. So you see that we have many Christians but few believers. Not many people truly believe the word. Hallelujah. Look up. For those that are students, when ABU brought out your timetable, did you believe that timetable? How did you prove that you believed it? When your lecture was 8 o'clock, were you sleeping? You got up and went to class believing. You didn't see the person who pasted the timetable. Correct? But you were so convinced. If you just lay down there and say, ah, my timetable is out. When they brought out your exam timetable, how did you prove you believed it? People jam-packed the library. That's faith in the administration so many people now say i love the lord lord i love you the urgency in your spirit during exams tells you how much you trust that those people will not change that timetable and that you had better be serious are you listening to me but when it comes to practicing god's word there is no urgency there is complacency and people just hope that maybe it will work it tells on the way we respond and live by the word of God. So we have people tithing today, not tithing tomorrow. We have people loving today, not loving tomorrow. We have people studying the word and not studying. And then you ask people why. And they tell you, look, if you really know what is happening in my life now, you even thank God that I'm still born again. <laughs> Hallelujah. And you expect people to sympathize with you. And you say, look, see, just forget to, it's just God that is helping me right now. <laughs> Can I tell you something, friends? Listen, if you bend from living by God's principles, it will not be an excuse for God to just see your tears and bring blessings into your life. You will suffer ruthlessly for it. If everyone else is practicing what is not of God, and you say, Tom, will I stand alone? You will suffer. Are you listening to me? If you claim God's word is not working and you leave it, then what else are you practicing? Hallelujah. Many believers truly do not live by the word of God. The Bible says, be ye doers. This looks very simple. Very, very simple. But this is the reason why so many people will never walk in certain realms of the reality of the kingdom life. Because we truly do not live by the word. Deceiving yourselves. Hallelujah. Many believers, many hearers, we have all kinds of tapes, different bookstores. Oh God, Jordan is here. His bookstore is full of tapes and books. 
There are many of us who buy books and buy tapes every week. When they go to your room, they see series of different men of God. Different series. Hallelujah. Say, have you read this book? You say, yes, Abba, chapter 1 talks about this, chapter 1. And then you see the person is chorusing the solution for his predicament, yet not changed by it. Hallelujah. Have you seen such kind of people? They can tell you when they are counseling somebody, you, you hear them speak. Ask them, you can attach someone who just got born again to them and they will train the person and you become a wonder in the spirit, but they themselves will never rise beyond that level. But they understand the spiritual principles. You can send them on evangelism, they will bring back souls. They can do great motions, but to live and get personal success in their lives as a result of the word of God, they will never do it. That's why Paul said, let it not be that after I have preached, I myself will be a castaway. That means it is possible. There are many men of God who are victims of the things they teach. They stand on stage and attack immorality as if they don't know who a lady is. But you search their lives and see. Every hotel already knows them. Doers of the word. There are many preachers who teach on tithing and giving. They themselves don't give. The reason why they are still rich is because people are sowing into their lives. So they don't know the difference. They don't live by the word of God. Many people say, okay, speak the word and pray. But the leaders themselves don't pray. Hallelujah. You go to a man of God's house, you see him cross his leg and he's watching football match. He gives you the timetable. See, have you not known that the Bible says there is no man that warreth who will entangle himself with civilian affairs? You see why certain people do not have personal success in their lives? Because the truth is, they have not come to a point where they love God genuinely. And are willing to live by his principles. There are men of God who declare fasting and prayer. And while the people are fasting, they are eating stockfish. Nobody knows. You just see them come. You see, we can fake every kind of thing on stage. But can I tell you something? Just as light and darkness cannot be mistaken, one day it will show whether you are standing in God's word or not. Hallelujah. Every time I pick up my Bible, I tell the Lord, am I studying simply because of the responsibility of ministry? Is it because I must prepare a message for God's people? Or is it because people will come for counseling? Hallelujah. Then you see people come and they stand to cast out devils and embarrass themselves. Yeah, that's where the robber will hit the road. I bind you in the name of Jesus Christ. And they go back with untold predicaments as a result of daring hell with a hypocritical spirit. It's easy to stand before people. I take authority over this devil. And then the man cannot sleep in the night in his house. He will call somebody and say, can you just come and stroll around? Because even him, he's not convinced that the name of Jesus works. It just so happened that he was used and the demon left. I'll never forget in secondary school when we prayed for one interesting boy that used to sleep on top of my bunk. And the devils came out. Oh, you, 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 come, you need to come and see us. When evening came. Bible said, and when evening came. That was when Jesus was healing. But when evening came for us, that was when it became a serious concern. People started singing praise and worship, strolling out of their rooms, moving to the, and they took light. I didn't sleep there. You watch people teach about certain kingdom principles and when you see them you say my god look at the, the unwavering audacity but then they don't believe it someone teaches on tithing and says i assure you if you don't tithe you will do this this person ask him in all sincerity you see we are not in the old testament otherwise many men of god would have been humbled by now many of us 
I'm not just saying them. You know now, God's grace is everybody can do everything. Whether you are titan or not, who will know? It's just you and God. But can I tell you something? A day will come, the fruit of the tree will show. Are you listening to me? Many believers, many of us don't pray. You don't pray. The only time you really have to pray is when you come for koinonia. So when you are praying, you just feel that spirit you felt last week. Bah, 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 bah. And you are feeling guilty as you are praying. You know that you have neglected your secret place. Some of us rub our Bibles on our bed. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus Christ. I declare safe journey to koinonia. And then you are leaving. It's not a priority. It's not a priority. It will only happen if they say, all right, in uh, maybe uh, protocol or worship or any department, you are the one who will lead prayers. And then you fast and pray and believe that all heavens are open. Only just to perform that religious ritual and then you leave. But can I tell you something? You can deceive man, but in the realm of the spirit, there is no deceit. A lot of people say you cannot deceive God. You cannot even deceive demons. You see, because in the realm of the spirit, everything lays bare. I hope you know that. You can deceive men in this realm. But I tell you the truth, in the realm of the spirit, everything lays bare. Ask the sons of Sceva. Paul was doing certain things and one day, the Bible says, they gathered, come sir. They carried somebody, sons of Sceva, plenty of them. And they came and they quietly locked the door. They said, we adjure you. In the name of Jesus, whom Paul preaches, is that not the real Jesus? And the demon says, today is today. You will know that we have been watching you. He said, Jesus, I know. In other words, I see them in the secret. We know that they are living by the principles of God's word. And so we can attest. See, if you don't, if you don't run away from God in the secret, he will not disappoint you in the open. He said, Jesus I know. Paul I know. He said, but who are you? He said, since you want to pretend, it's time for the whole community to know that this anointing is fake. And the Bible says, that spirit beat all of them, one, stripped off their clothes, two, and drove them out for the whole city to see. So imagine the men of God in that city naked. What happened? Not accident, not bomb blast, no nothing. He say a victim of our... Uh, <laughs> you just imagine miracle service. And then just imagine all of us running. Me and Bishop stand. I say, let's stand in unity. What happened? Oh, but that's what happened. That's what the Bible says happened. Do you, do you think those guys will be the same? They will first run away from that environment. I'm going to say, what minute these things? I thought it was so easy. When you see a man who is living by the word doing some things, you think it's so easy and cheap. And then you come with the absence of God's presence and you try to do the same thing and you receive a rude shock in your life. Be ye doers. Be ye doers. Are you a doer of the word? Are you truly practicing the principles that you know? Or do you just say, oh, I know, I know, at least I, I know, God knows. Are you a practitioner of the word? Hallelujah. There are many men of God who teach about giving. They are as stingy as anything. They don't give anybody anything. Anything. If ever they give, it's from what they gave them. You don't need faith to do that one. It came as a gift. And then you give it. Hallelujah. This is very important. Are you a practitioner of God's word? We teach on character. We teach on the anointing. We teach on certain principles. There have been so many messages that have come from this ground. I told you that some years ago, God asked me to do something. That's a customized dealing between me and the Holy Spirit. For one week, I was reading, chewing, devouring any book and any tape I find. 
whether it's relevant to me or not i just wanted to grow studying the bible reading chapters upon chapters books upon books in a day and then one time the lord told me for the next one week i shouldn't open my bible i went back to those notebooks that i had been jotting and the lord told me if i were practicing up to 10 percent of the things that were there my life would have changed and i was ashamed of myself because i know god cannot lie many of you are holding the solutions to your life and destiny in these books that you keep bringing week after week you do not respect what you wrote with your own hands you cried on the day you were writing it somebody even gave you a handkerchief and you clean and you quickly wrote it but you are not living by it you cried that day as if you will leave they say make commitments and before they said anything you were the first to go down on your knees but after that you see that's why honestly honestly i'm not carried away when people just kneel down or lie down or roll i'm not saying don't do that but there's too much emotion in the church too much emotion and we men of god are consoled whenever there are emotions because we feel ah the people are really getting it the power of god is flowing not necessarily so if i sing a very nice song now whether the name of jesus is there or not some of you will start crying you are just emotional he will just remind you of maybe one your children's choir song something and you just start crying it doesn't mean you are being changed it's just simple memory of the past very few believers see every time i pray to god i lie down and i say lord help me i cannot boast that i'm practicing every single part of the word but help me this must be your attitude it's not just the truth you know it's not just what you've had what are you doing about it there are many of you that gave koinonia messages to your friends and your family members powerful messages that can get them out of their predicament they collected it put it in their laptops they've not listened to it some of you have all the koinonia messages including last week's one how many have you listened to? There are people who are always collecting messages. Collecting everything. Do you have this Abba, Jerry Savelle? I have this. You see sections. And there's nothing that is being changed in their lives. Nothing. Not their character. Not any result. The reason, hear me, very simple but profound, is that many of us are listeners, but we are not practitioners. Hallelujah. I remember somewhere in Joss, they were doing orientation for Jerusalem pilgrims. Those who were going to go to Jerusalem. And you know, they have some time of just encouragement and for some Bible studies. After teaching them about the significance of visiting the Holy Land and the impact it should create, they were giving them warnings and they said no drinking. And one old man was just looking at them while they were talking. He didn't say anything. He was just looking at them. And later when it was time for people to comment, just say anything, AOB, the guy said, well, this is my own issue. I won't go and buy beer in the Holy Land, but if I see it, I won't let it spoil. You see that? Now, do you think that person will ever walk in the fullness of what God has destined? No. That's how some of us are. I won't buy cigarette, oh, for instance. But if someone offers me, even God knows. I won't go and look for any lady. But whoever makes a mistake of coming to my house, even God knows that it's not with my leg I used and went. See, um, it's amazing how people make these confessions and they, they are happy. People smile and then they feel very fulfilled. Let me tell you something. If you are not a practitioner of the word, you will be frustrated twice. Let me tell you the first frustration. The first frustration is because you have endured too much. Secondly, only to find out that your endurance is in vain because you were deceiving yourself. You see that? So, someone who was not practicing the principles of God, who had been looking at you and been prophesying your doom, in the future it will truly happen because you have been deceiving yourself. The Bible says, be ye he says, do not just be hearers, but doers. 
be doers, not just here as deceiving yourself. How many of us here have been deceiving ourselves? Tonight, God is really examining us. How many of us? There are, there are very few of us that truly put the teachings we receive to work. That's why there are very few people that have results. But God wants everyone to walk in the manifestation of the word of God in your life. That with time, something should begin to show. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. For instance, there may be some of us that still have all kinds of godless and useless musics, videos, and different things in our phones. You are born again. Hallelujah. And all those pornographic jargons are still on your phone. Thanks to Blackberry. You can ping your destiny left and right from one person to the other. Receive things you should not receive. And then Facebook again. These things are nice if you use them well. Twitter. We have all kinds of media um, outlets that help people not to live by the principles of the word. So you have a man of God who loves God. He's preaching the gospel. But still has in one secret place in his folder. Passworded. All kinds of pornographic jargons. And the problem is, they will never admit they need help. You see the point? It's a different thing if you are struggling with a challenge and you admit and say, Lord, somebody help me. But where people just laugh, and then they come out and do all kinds of things. And then you sit down and they wonder why God is not bringing members to their church. God is not bringing increase. They wonder why. And then they begin to criticize others that have this result. They say, forget about them, Jerry. They must be putting their hands somewhere. Let me tell you something. Hear me and hear me very well. The Bible says, nevertheless, the foundation of the Lord standeth sure. Having this seal, the Lord knoweth them that are his. Men may not know, but God knows those who are his. Hallelujah. Practitioners of the word. I listened to a message by Johnson Suleiman, a minister's conference that broke me in a very serious way. We'll be playing it for our, our Bible students. Very powerful. And this guy began to speak about, not, I'm not saying this to criticize. Many men of God, bishops, popular people you know in this country who deal on drugs. That's how they make their money. Millionaire clubs of pastors, apostles, prophets, bishops. Hallelujah. Currently, it was told that in NDLEA, drug law, there are about 230 something pastors that are under police custody for drugs. Some of them are your pastors. Who is deceiving who? Hallelujah. John Suleiman said he went to South Africa. When he went to South Africa, they asked him, they said, Kai, it's very cold, though. Do you need a warmer? The guy said, no, the AC is okay. We can adjust. He said, no, we are not. We need a warmer. He said, what do you mean a warmer? He said, a lady now, after the burden of standing to minister. Bible says, and when Abraham's wife died, they brought a lady called Keturah. So to have somebody who will come and comfort you. And he looked at the man and said, what is all this? He said, the pastors in Nigeria do it. He showed some permanent ladies that belong to many of the men of God you see and celebrate. They caught a bishop at customs office with his bishop, this thing. You know their shoes are customized. They opened the shoe and saw kilograms of cocaine. And in the bishop's staff, kilograms of cocaine. Are you listening to me? And a pastor who was called 100 Bibles, 100 Bibles in each of them, there were wraps of cocaine. Nigerians, people who stand and lift up their hands and wonder why God honors some people and turns away from some people. Tonight is a message to re examine ourselves. Are you interested in practicing God's word?
at all costs. Johnson Suleiman said he was on his way going with his books and they stopped him. He said they stopped him. And they said, please, we know you are a great man, but we'll probe you. When they finished, the customs officer called him and said, are you embarrassed? I'm sorry. But right now, the situation with Nigerian pastors requires that we check a lot of things. You find out how many preachers have married abroad and have wives and children that nobody knows. Whenever the woman says, I will shout or just get more money from building project or whatever and just try and say, you said, keep quiet. Nevertheless, the foundation of the Lord standard show. Are you a practitioner of God's word? Hallelujah. He said he was in a hotel and a lady came. Just knocked and said, you have a parcel from the receptionist. As soon as he opened the door, that was how she just stripped herself. He said he was almost tempted to sleep with her. This is a sincere man of God. Because we live in a world full of men of God who exalt themselves and try to pretend all kinds of garbages while they are dying in the secret. The Bible says, he who conceals his sin shall not be delivered. He shall not prosper. Hallelujah. He said he didn't know when he turned and started shouting in tongues. That was the only help he could get. And the lady just closed the door. Who know? Who know? He would have slept with her quietly. And his protocol will receive him in Nigeria. The great man. Whereas you have no identity in the realm of the spirit. Don't be surprised when they tell you there are pastors going to hell. Hallelujah. It's a call. How much of the word of God do you believe and are living? He said one of his sons in the ministry, he went to preach for him in Lagos. Within one year, when he started, when he saw the crowd as a spiritual man, he said he called him after the meeting and the son gave him a brand new, Bible students, don't worry, you watch the video. It's a minister's conference, won't give people around, but you watch it. Hallelujah. Gave him a brand new car to a jeep. Most men of God. Are you not surprised that with the evil happening, most of the people who should talk are not saying anything? They are just keeping quiet. Come on now. Jesus said, the one who dipped his hand with me in this pot is the one who is not innocent. When you have dipped your hand with somebody, will you bite the finger that is feeding you? Hallelujah. It's sad, but I must tell you this. It's sad. I did a little study, and I'm glad he said it, about the concept. Please, I'm not criticizing any pastor or anything. Please, don't send me any text messages telling me jargons. Hallelujah. But the guy who ordained the bishops, his name is El Pock. And he was the one who ordained Idahosa, ordained, and you know, many of the men of God we know today. Are you listening to me? And that guy, was living in a lot of, as at the time, he was living in a lot of sexual perversion. This is the reason why most of the bishops and the great men of God, they find themselves lost and materialism are two things they cannot explain. See, that's why the Bible says, lay hands suddenly on no man so that you will not be partakers of their sins. You just hear one great bishop just got up. Ah, he's gay. Now you try, you, and you are now thinking. I always pray to God and say, Lord, as I stand to minister to your people, let me not transfer a faulty spirit. Once you see a whole congregation of people manifesting certain widespread characteristics, the leaders are not to be spared. I, I tell you the truth. The leaders are not to be spared. Hallelujah. I told you about my encounter and worry. When a lady came to knock my door by 1 p.m. Hallelujah. What she wore, it was too short. Where's my waist? This is it. See, this watch, this watch she wore. And then it had a it had a zip. Yes, she lifted it. I mean, she was proud. 
when I opened the door, ah! <laughs> she said, sorry, I'm looking for the, the, the uh, receptionist in this place. I didn't know what to say. I said, are you not seeing my room number? I'm a guest here. In the night, quietly, who know? Said I should come and help her go and walk a guy from her room. Come on now. When I jammed that door and I locked it, kapa kapros katalabada. I will leave Zari and come to worry, kill my destiny and come back. See, when these things happen, that is when you will know whether you love God or not. That's why the Bible says for you to prepare. He said if your strength fails you in the day of battle, your strength is small. If you turn aside in the day of battle, there are too many people who are pretending like they are living the reality of God's word. Back to that story about that his son. And he saw the increase. After he gave him the khakis, he said, hold on. Apostle John Suleiman and his wife called him and he said, please talk to us. I'm seeing increase in my own ministry, but not like this. This does not carry the signature of God. What are you doing? The guy said, well, you know, the blessings of God and some of the principles the principles that a daddy like you have taught us. He said, no. He told him, go out. He called his wife. He said, madam, you know that I see. Talk to me. And she began to tell him, there is a popular herbalist in this country. I won't mention names of things. He said, he took the woman there and they told him that they should bring a six-year-old child together with a customized mic, just like my own here, that nobody else will hold. Listen to me. And when that sacrifice was made, they said, anywhere around Lagos, if your ears can hear that mic, whether your leg likes it or not, it will enter that church and sit down there. So ministry is expanding. And many sons just come, Papa, receiving demons and spirits. And now he got a seed of a jeep and he gave him. John Suleiman said, he said, even those who backslided did not go to the devil. They just fell short of God's grace. Is it that bad that you went? He said, from today, I delete your number from my phone. I have nothing to do with you again. Do you know how many men of God go for meetings and they go with ridiculous PAs that nobody can explain? Let me see one pretty lady. Annie, come. So I'm going, I'm going to where now, Mina? And I just drop. I tell them, please book two rooms or one large room. Anyone can serve. <laughs> two or one large room. And then I say, she's my PA. Hallelujah. And when you see the seriousness in my life, you won't even believe. Think I'm seeing every lady like trees. <laughs> this is an example, oh. Media. It's an example. Hallelujah. And then what happens? In the name of PA and useless, stupid, satanic manifestations of lack of self-control. What happens? So they have different people in different spots. Just sleep with that sharp, sharp. And then they just clap for the man. Comes to sit down and he stands up. And you see people falling under the anointing. He's genuinely anointed, but he has lost the presence. See, Samson woke up from sleeping with a prostitute. Did you read that in your Bible? What did he do? Immediately, the Bible didn't say he prayed to God. Immediately, he got up, removed the gate of a city. Because they said they wanted to enter and kill him. So he said, let me remove the gate for you. He removed the gate and kept it on a mountain. That you are compromising on kingdom things and God is merciful is not an endorsement. Are you listening to me? This is what a lot of people don't know. May God deliver us from a life of falsehood and bring us into a point where we truly practice the word of God. There are many men of God who stand on stage and say, I don't owe God one night and God says, you owe me three years. Three years, you're a liar. You're shouting, I don't owe God anyone. It's not true. It's not true. 
They don't believe in giving. They don't give. They just have the way of getting money. They can cook up any ridiculous project that nobody can account for. And you know, the way men of God run ministry, especially, I'm telling you, especially those who are not transparent, they run it in such a way that nobody can question them. These are prophetic instructions. These are this and that. So you, sister, please, after Koinonia, let me see you in my room. Say prophetic instruction. What nonsense is that? Who is deceiving who? Then when she comes, say, you say, don't you smile, Abba. <laughs> is that not what some of your lecturers do? They look very serious. Come to my office. When you come, they say, ah, ah, relax. Who is beating you? <laughs> Those are indications of perversion. Pack your load and run away. No matter what it will cost you. Doers of the word. Doers. Whether anybody is watching you or not. You are packaging your tithe and saying, Lord, you know I honor you and I believe this. Whether you are alone or you are true, you see a challenge in your life that is questionable. You don't sit there and just say, wow, I'm a new creation in Christ Jesus. You seek for help quick, quick. I've had the opportunity to pray for a lot of ministers and I do that with all humility. When I see certain people come and say, look, I'm a man of God, but I'm struggling with this and that. I tell him, I say, look, we are all products of God's grace. But for your openness and sincerity, the Lord will bless you. But there are all kinds of people who will sit down and believe they are the Alpha and the Omega. Everything about God is in them. Are you listening to me, please? So what aspect of the word have you not made up your mind to live by and practice? I will not be surprised if there are still ladies in this place that get up to go and spend weekend in one guy's house. You are here, you are looking at me. Say, Tor, won't I go? He's the only one now. The Christian brothers are not coming. Which nonsense are you saying? Who do you want now to come and meet this kind of unfertile soil? Who do you want to come with this kind of life? The brother who is praying and sweating in your presence and praying for his destiny. Look at what you are living. I'll not be surprised if there are some of you who still tell your parents lies and inflate figures of school fees and the rest. Now you laugh because we have a church that massages things you should address. Just say, forget that lie. Don't make the people feel guilty. What nonsense is that? You don't find that in Koinonia. By the grace of God, we will attack whatever needs to be attacked in love until we present a bride that is worthy of God's power and glory and grace. Hallelujah. There are many of you that once situation becomes a bit uncomfortable, just a bit, you can shake like a leaf and compromise at anything that comes. You are not a doer of the word. Tonight, the Lord is asking you, are you ready to come back to a point where you truly begin to practice the word? Whether you are supervised or not. I always tell people the true proof of obedience is when you are given the opportunity to disobey. Hallelujah. If, come Tosin. If Tosin is my daughter and she's staying under my roof, you know the kind of person I am. You know there are some things I won't tolerate. I cannot say Tosin is a nice lady because I'm there. Are you listening to me? The day I leave her alone and she has the opportunity to do anything she wants to do but she says i have come to take the word of my father as my own word i'm not doing it because of him at that point they are the practitioners of god's word god bless you there are some of you the only thing that is keeping you right now is because we are watching you hallelujah one day someone came and said pray for me i want to go abroad i said why he said truly i just know that god wants me to be there I wanted to pray for the person and the Lord told me, don't waste your time. This is not my desire. This person is just going to go and die abroad. Some of you want to go abroad. <laughs> First day you go abroad and stand and you see ladies almost nude moving. And you find out that nobody is even concerned. Ah, 
You just say, are you, are you serious? And I'm so happy my father's phone has spoiled. When you are not supervised, are you going to stand for truth? Do you know that there are some people that get back into things like drinking simply because maybe there are a group of friends are there. They say, don't fall our hands, I beg. And the guy will sit down and say, ah, just turn around and saw pretty lady. Say, oh, God, let me just do it. This is one last time. I'll ask for forgiveness later on. Are you ready to stand and live by the word? Can you be different? When people are bribing and doing other things, say, just give me my own. I won't be against you, but I won't talk. Because the way I'm seeing some of us, God is keeping you right now. It's just God that is tying your leg. You are like foxes. If they set fire and leave you, you can't do anything. That's why God has refused to expose some people into certain levels of blessings. You think he's a devil. It's because you are not ready. Hallelujah. There are many of us, the day you hold one million of your own, not that your father gave you that you should keep it for him, your, your own, that nobody knows, only you. Ha! You can book the best room in TJ Palace. You can charter a car from here and anywhere. You can take a flight, just drop in Lagos and go back. You can do anything you want to do. At that point, you'll find out three days, four days, you've not prayed. You say, God, no problem, we'll talk. Because there's no pressure again. It's time to begin to ask yourself, are you pretending over your passion for God or do you genuinely mean it? Are you just coming for koinonia because you feel kai? Let me come. I don't want anybody asking me any question. Did you come or not? Let me just kukuma come. I love the Lord on stage, anywhere. I love him with all my heart. And I'm committed to living by the truths of God's word that I know nothing else. I don't care what level of honor comes. And I want that to be your resolve tonight. Let me show you another scripture. Thank you, Jesus. John 13. John 13. You do mighty things. You do glorious things. You're a faithful God. Awesome is your name. You do mighty things. You do glorious things. You're a faithful God. Awesome is your name. John 13, verse 17. John 13, verse 17. Let's read it together if you're there. One to read. If you know these things, happy are you if you do them. So it's not enough to know. Jesus is encouraging them. He said, if you know these things, you will be happy when you do them. If you know the principles that can bring a blessed life, happy are you. There are some of you, you have your remaining exams now. You trusted God last year. It came out a way you don't like. He said, God, now I'm wiser. I won't get punished like a child again. Now I'm a man. I pray for a generation of men and women who are uncompromising. There are many of you, nobody can vouch for you. Hallelujah. There are some of you here, nobody can vouch for you. You can't beat your chest and say, Kai, I know the, the Bible says, God said, I know Abraham that he would teach his children, in the, he, would, he would raise his children in the way of the Lord. Let me ask you a question, all of you here. Who can speak for you if you are not there and say, I truly know that this person is a Christian? Hallelujah. Are you listening to me? There are many of you that nobody can speak for you. When they just ask and say, this guy, say, ah, in this life, you don't talk for people. Once you see people talking like that, they, they are already answering the question. Hallelujah. 
They say, sorry, want to appoint this person one post and what do you do? Ah! No, just leave that position vacant there, please. Don't give God headache. We have enough challenges in this church. See? Many of us are not dependable. You don't, your, 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 re, your resolve on God's word cannot be verified. You love God, but we are not yet sure if a guy starts meandering around you, whether you stand. It's amazing what people do in the presence of certain opportunities. Amazing. Hallelujah. I know a lady one time, some years ago, she wanted her school fees desperately. Then we used to meet at um, chapel. And the girl started attending ENI meetings actively. Apparently, she had that. It's time for payment of school fees. Every time this lady would greet me, immediately after the program, I said, Lord, thank you. You are doing great things in life in this place. As soon as this girl got this school fees, I didn't see her again. Till I'm serious. About a, a year later, when it was about the same time, she just sent a text. She said, it's been a while. I miss you. I miss you. I said, me. Abba. Judas kissed Jesus, took him to hell. Nobody would kiss me and take me to hell. That's how many of us are with God. You just thank God. Hallelujah. I'm sharing this testimony. God is doing great things in my family. And at that point, especially our parents, you see that there is a sense of your father who has not done devotion in 12 years. We say, everybody wake up. Wake up, family. We are going to give God glory this morning. You just know that one areas that has been pending has suddenly come. Later on, you wake him and he says, the day you enter this room again. And you are now asking, so who is deceiving who? That's how many of us are. When you came in the session, you were very excited. Hallelujah. Very excited. You are the one pointing fingers at people and saying, these guys are not praying. What's wrong? Pray for them. Now you are the one they are praying for. Why? Every time they see you strolling around Paladin, they say, one guy told me on Facebook he loves me. See, the things people do. That's why it's good. Hear me, brothers and sisters. That's why it's good to let God examine your heart. Don't set an exam for yourself and mark yourself. Give yourself a organized speech and price for yourself and say, I'm growing. Hold on. Let God be the one to work on you. But there must be a result. There are many of us today. The way we are pursuing God, if we don't get what we want from God, it's, it's possible you will just wave and say, God, I walked with you for five years. Everybody has seen now that I've, I've tried. Bless my father, you didn't bless him. Bless my mother, you didn't bless him. Bless everybody. Leave me alone. Just bless them. You didn't even bless them. Why will I stay? You say I will backslide. Look at who is going to suffer. The throne is made of gold. Everything is made of gold. You are the one suffering here. And people who live these kinds of lives get angry at those who are paying the price to live by the word of God. Because the moment you see that there is a sister who is standing and saying by the grace of God, I'm going to stand. I will wait for the will of God. I'm developing myself in virtue and character. Say, eh, just say all of us are bad now. Who, did they talk to you? Our presence is judging what you are doing. Please don't eh, pray. Let's just know that us, we are sinners. What is all that? Or you just see a guy reading plenty books. He's read seven books in a week. You have been sleeping and snoring. You just wake up. Your saliva is almost, it has poured on the bed. It's almost floating now down. I just clean your face. And you hear yourself talking foolishly and he's talking like a leader. And then he say, eh, must you say it? Abba, who is not growing too? You will always hate those who are doing what you are not doing. Always. You look at broke people. The day they bless your father, neighbors that used to laugh suddenly just get angry. They just gather themselves and say, ah, ah, hey, hey rain is falling, no. 
mouths that cannot drink gari is now taking water. You see, all kinds of insinuative statements. Whatever you are not doing, when you see someone doing it, it will judge you. You go around smokers and those who drink. Once they see you going to church, they just say, ah, ah, Mother Mary, oh, pray for us. So they look like they are bold. Something is judging them. You calm them down and talk to them and they will tell you. They say, I don't like my life. But brothers and sisters, let me tell you something. Those who will receive rewards in this journey are those who are living. So ask yourself, are you frustrating yourself for nothing or you are truly practicing the word? Because it's going to be terrible if after 10 years of standing one leg in, one leg out, you find out that those who are truly committed are now walking in the blessings and you are still standing. Hallelujah. Have you seen those who they are inviting for a dinner, for instance, and someone who just heard from somewhere, you dress too, you come and stand like them. You say, you, what do you like? Yeah, I like, uh, I like cold uh, uh, juice. You are not invited. You are there talking. You can talk like them. Once it's time for the invitation, they say, brother, so, so, this way. And you start becoming uncomfortable. And you're just standing there and say, ah, so how are you? Are you sure your name was there? How did you know you were there? Because you had been standing for long, but you were not part of it. Now, you didn't do other things. And by standing there, you were implicating yourself. Because you've already just said with someone, even say, we'll sit together. When we get the car, you're a very nice person. You talk smart. And then they say, last but not the least, sister, this. And you are just standing there. I say, what is all this? Huh? I've been standing here for long. It's not where you invited. Did you show signs of concern? That's how many people who named the name of... Do you know that's how many of our parents got into trouble? Ask them. They'll tell you we did evangelism. Uh-huh. We did evangelism. Say, I, I was even president of of my fellowship that's not the issue did you practice the word of god that you were taught they say so so great man he was my friend i was even praying with him that's the deceit you were praying but did you believe it did you walk in the truth others were tithing you were there pretending and telling lies now when the cloud is full of rain for those people what happens those who are not tithing it doesn't come and you are not telling people bring bucket oh rain will come they brought buckets and drums of water. You are waiting. Say, just hold on. It, it comes gradually. It has been, you have been waiting for 20 years. It won't come because you didn't do anything. I refuse to, after committing myself to God, and then at the end, I will find out that I was only pretending and there is nothing to show forth for it. Two more scriptures and we'll pray quickly. Hebrews 4, verse 1. I will show you from this scripture. Tonight's teaching is an admonition. Let us therefore fear lest a promise be left us of entering into his rest. Any of you should seem to come short of it too. For unto us was the gospel preached as well as unto them. He said, but the word that was preached did not profit them. Why? Not being mixed with faith in them that had it. Look up. So they had it. But what happened? It did not produce result. See, listen, let me tell you something. That's why you can have a crowd of people like this. And we are praying and releasing blessings. And you see some people lifting their hands. But they don't even believe. They are just wondering. Will it really happen? How are we even sure this man of God is genuinely anointed? You are there arguing. Somebody is opening up his spirit. Next week, the person comes with a testimony. I say, why is it that there are some specific people? I will find out this thing. Next Sunday, I'll come early and go and stand and see what media people are doing. That's the cynical spirit that people have as a result of not seeing results in their lives. The Bible says they had the word. The word of faith, the word of healing, the word of restoration, the word of prosperity, the word of godliness, the word of success, the word of increase. They had it. They jumped like everybody. They shook hands with everybody. They danced with everybody, but they did not practice it. Can I tell you something? 
one of the things I have found out in scripture is that beyond a man of God, beyond an anointing that you sit under, you are principally responsible for working out your salvation with fear and trembling. The Bible says, work out your salvation. Work it out. When the word is released, you receive it. There are some of you that have been here with terminal diseases. It's been for a while. And you're just laughing and saying, well, well, this and that. For some of you, probably, part of the reason why you are not even receiving is you don't even believe. See, let me advise you. Don't come here if you don't believe I'm a man of God. You are wasting your time. Did you know that it's possible for people to do that? You just come and sit down and watch and say, ah, ah. And this happens especially for elderly people. When they come and see us stand here, they say, ah, these are young people. And, and, and you watch them sitting in their predicament. Look, let me tell you something. When it comes to the things of the spirit, drop your age, your title, your reputation, your educational status, whatever, and with meekness, you receive. That's the problem with a lot of people. Some of you have been calling some of your parents who have serious sicknesses to come. They say, ah, it's just youth. Hallelujah. I remember going going to one house to go and pray for them. They've heard about me. They've listened to the messages. And when I went there, I saw the shock on the man's face. Apparently, he thought he was his age mate coming. When I came in, he couldn't believe it. Ah. So he sat down. And then for him to talk, he was just merry-go-rounding. He was wondering. Because some of his children are older than me. You know, he was talking, hey, how have I degraded myself? Now, and I sat down there. And with all humility, I was pitying the man. I said, who is suffering? I was sitting peacefully at home. You didn't let my phone rest. Now I have come. This guy was suffering something. He didn't want to say it. It was a medical condition. It was me and him. He could not speak. These are things I have had for years. It's amazing how some people come to look and they just look and they say this and that. A man is suffering from a particular... He just sits down and he just... Who are you deceiving? Every time William Branham wanted to minister to people, he would look at them and say, do you take me? Do you receive me as a prophet of God? People would say yes, instantly. The vistas of their life will be opened up to him and he will begin to speak to them. One day, a particular man of God called me. He saw in a dream that I was ministering to him and he called he had been struggling with certain things, to real challenges in his life. And when he called, he said, well, God showed me this thing there, and I wanted us to rob mines together. I told him, keep your pride. I'm not going to pick a call and rob mine. You need, you need deliverance. And this is what God has sent for you to be done. If you are ready, come. Don't sit down there and say, we are not robbing mines. Many of you will never admit, see, it, this is not bragging. This is not bragging. This could probably be the reason why some of you are not receiving any blessings. You see the protocol people start and say, Abba, Sonny, Abba, you are looking at me, okay, Sonny, we entered car together with you. You don't know difference. My parents suffered for years. I was still anointed and liberating many families. For years, it grieved my spirit. Did you know that in all my years of ministry, I've only ministered in my state. Aside from crusades we organized, I've only ministered once in my own state. There are few places in this country I've not gone to, but in my own state, only once. You see that? This can be reasons why people don't receive. From the day, see, this is not human worship. By the grace of God, we respect. It's childishness. If an elderly person, someone older than you can give birth to you, is respecting your grace, and you are now bragging, you are a child. There is not demonic possession. The, the remedy is just to grow up. But let me tell you something. You must open up your heart and receive. Praise the Lord. Are you receiving something? 
This could be probably part of the reason why some of you are not blessed. Every time you are receiving the word, you are just looking and saying, oh yeah, yeah, again. And you are remaining where you are. The anointing reacts to honor, brother. When God has put a man over your life, he's not your friend. He's not your colleague. It is in an attempt to express this point that certain men of God raise themselves. But the Bible says, do not exalt yourself more highly than you ought to be. There are people I will never joke with. I can be smiling with them. But the moment I want to beckon in the capacity of their anointing and call, I bring myself to my proper position. This is what some of you have been missing. Hallelujah. Sometimes we give spiritual instructions here to help you. Read a particular book. Pray. Throughout this week, go and you just laugh. See, your adherence to instructions he says, my son, pay attention to my words. Incline your ears to my sayings. Do not let them depart from out of thy heart, thy eyes. Keep them in the midst of your heart. He said, they are life to those who find and help to their flesh. This is the reason why some of you are not receiving results. You're not participating in the things that can build you because you don't believe. But tonight, I pray that God will give us the heart to be doers of the word. Not just hear us deceiving ourselves. Because in the end, you are the one who will suffer it alone. I believe the word of God. I believe in you. I believe in your word. And the power of its truth. I believe in you. So I lay down my cross that the cross might be found in you. I believe in you. I believe in your word and the power of its truth. I believe in you so I lay down my cause that the cross might be found in you I believe this word we're going to pray in the next five minutes listen and I don't know how you're going to cry unto God but you're going to tell him Lord I'm making up my mind hold on hold on hold on hear the prayer point first I'm making up my mind to be a doer of the word. You're going to honestly repent and say, Lord, I've not been tightened. I'm not faithful. See, when, when you are honest before God and you say, Lord, you are, not a you are not an unjust God. Truly, I've not been obedient to your principles. You don't pray. You don't speak the word. We talk about speaking the word. Many of you just feel this is for children. Look at what your life is. Look at what your life is. Anything comes and goes. Hallelujah. But tonight we are going to pray. We are going to say, Lord, I'm not ready to tell lies again. I, I leave this aspect of the word, but I'm not serious in this aspect. Some of us is in the aspect of character. You can pray, you can fast, but character. You've never sat down to work on it. It's not an issue. Hallelujah. Some of us is love. Some of us is the spirit of excellence. We keep saying these things. You're not going to hear anything new. These are the principles that have made great people. But let me tell you something. Listen. There must be a resolve in your heart. God supplies the grace. But you are the one who will make the resolve. The Bible says the prodigal son came to himself. No preacher preached to him. The prodigal son did what? Came to himself. Some of us may need to come to ourselves today. And attack some things out of your life. Pornography. Immorality. 
Hallelujah. Falsehood. Every kind of thing that is not consistent with Christ. You're going to make up your mind and say, Lord, I'm going to live by your word. This is what your principle says. And no matter what it will cost me, I lay down pride. I Listen, see, look up. It's not difficult. Just resolve that you are going to be a genuine Christian. Is that too much for you? Is it too much for you to say, I'm going to mean business with God? Every principle that I am taught with childlike faith, I'm going to walk. See, listen. I remember one time I was teaching someone how to drive. This guy was learning. Before I finish saying something, he would say, I know, I know. I will say, okay, drive it and I will turn. And you just do blunders. I know, I know. If you find yourself in that attitude, you are on your way to doom. There are some of us, that's what has caused you into trouble. I know, I know everything. I know, pray, I know, I know this, I know that. Shut up and sit down and learn. When I see people say things about me and I see certain people great leaders in the body of Christ that I respect and I admire and I see the dimensions they are operating in I feel like a child and a toddler and I maintain that posture of humility accepting that there are so many things I need to learn and know and I humble myself and take it there are many of us the last time you made progress in your life was years ago because everything you know you are sinking they are saying give me your hand you say I know are you joking I can swim you are dying Bring your hand for help. I know. That's how many people are. That's how many of our parents are. God has raised some of you as saviors, but every time you want to speak to them, I know they are dying. I know. This is not an issue of medication. They've spent millions on the treatment. Get to a place where you will be free. I know. Don't worry. We have things under control. Run away from that demonic attitude. Hallelujah. If Satan had his way, he would kill me, crumble this ministry, make every koinonia message around the world to disappear all of a sudden in everybody's phone. If he can do that, he can beat his chest and say, I've tried. Ah, but there's a song that says, Satan, shame unto you. You know the song? Don't sing it, oh. <laughs> We make our boast in the Lord. In the next few minutes, we are going to so rubbish the devil in this place. Let me tell you. First of October, we'll let, we'll let the devil know what is in Nigeria. He has tasted what is in America, what is in Russia, what is in this. And then you see your life change. A miracle is a wonder. That, that the limit. Hold, hold his hands. Try to stop him. Two of you. You know that game they used to play? That you try. Oh, yeah. Do it now. You are, I, don't, no, don't, don't draw him too much. Sorry. You are not very kind. Now, watch this. Are you seeing that now? This guy can be growing old every year. You are celebrating birthday and nothing is moving in your life. Because there is a devil somewhere determined to make sure you don't rise. Let me tell you my assignment. This is me now coming into this equation. My, my assignment is not to cut what is there. My assignment is to carry this like this, this one. Because, you see, I can cut what is there and pass. You can enjoy breakthrough while you are about to go. He's going to hold you and say, come back. Apostle has gone. So, the, the job has not been done. My assignment by the grace of God is to carry this mountain you are seeing and carry it out of the way. One, that's number one. That's not all. Then my assignment is to turn you to the direction. That's where prophecy is powerful. And then turn what would have come to you from that delay. If I leave you like this, you are not oppressed, but you, are, you still don't have breakthrough. You are free from oppression, but you have not entered your inheritance. So you can't testify. But whatever that is, when it comes to you and you go to it, and then I leave you. My job is to... And, and the thing is that... 
all these things happen through words the word that is sent to supervise and make sure you get to your inheritance and then by next week you are coming with an employment letter and you are on your knees saying god what is this what is this then two weeks later five people all barring in your family are saying ah i i i think i'm pregnant then you just remember ah what has happened a man of god that you have space for 500 people in your church and yet you see 10 people 15 during a convention they grow to 30 by the time service is finishing there's 20 back and all of a sudden something happens and one spectacular miracle happens by the next sunday in a way that even the critics say i'm here in your church today to watch what happened and you said i never believed that will buy canopy for an overflow but the anointing god brought you here to change your life listen to me i repeat god brought you here to change your life he didn't bring you to just be happy that a program koinonia no this is a miracle service a miracle service is not a teaching service i will take out time and teach you but this is a miracle service there are some of you you may not be sick you may not be oppressed but you need to carry something that ends every argument result my brothers and my sisters is the end of every argument i can lie to you or you can deceive me that you are having a pocket square and i can argue because i'm not seeing it but if you bring out a pocket square and i see it this is the end of the argument it would be stupid to still argue at that point you will let everybody know you are a madman this is the result could it be that you have been talking too much let the anointing talk I, I will i will build the house i know god is faithful i will do this and god is saying no moses only spoke small and then the rod kept talking you have been talking forever some of you you are here in this meeting because there is a rod that god will give you you stood before the red sea for forever it refused to part but god brought you here to carry something that you go back with it and it will shock you my brothers and my sisters that that red sea will part and you will call your family and say finally we've been wondering how to build a bridge but we found an easier road that the river can part tonight i want you to know that god wants to do this number one because he loves you but number two there is a dimension of glory only your results can bring to him don't ever let anyone fool you hear him is our father glorified john 15 and verse 8 this is how i am glorified galatians chapter 1 verse 29 says and they glorified god in me not that they glorified god on the throne they looked at my life they saw that god can do this you no father no mother who gave you the job who did you know from the top you're a man of god I used to know your father as a wheelbarrow pusher and you say my brother is what god can do if it is the lord's doing it is marvelous in our eyes for as long as your life is ordinary your ministry is ordinary your business is ordinary you will continue to explain and explain and argue and explain and explain and explain let me tell you god takes away shame from our lives by giving us results did you hear what i said god does not take away shame by explaining anything to anybody he does something in your life and he does it in a way like julius berger will build a house and put b god will do it and put his signature they'll say no this business cannot be human i hear testimonies of people every time the things that god does in and through their lives a wonder please let your heart be open oh 
don't let the devil make you come here and waste your time whether you are outside overflow one overflow two overflow three online whatever nation you are following just listen i believe him i may not claim i know everything about him but this god when god decides to stand up from his throne he said now arise from your throne god can stand up have you heard that the earth is his footstool so when he decides to stand up and say who has made the cry of my daughter to continue coming the bible says even the mountains keep like lambs my god is mighty our own belief many times is the reason why god does not move we come and sit down and pile up some of you have come with all kinds of forms and pictures and that's wonderful but you are there wondering can you move oh god concerning my money can you move concerning my money can you move concerning my health can you move concerning my wife and god is saying yes i can i am willing and i'm able and then the devil comes very quickly and says if god could move did the man of god pray for you in by march didn't your pastor fast seven days for you and you say it's true oh, that's the devil tonight your faith must be open your faith must rise to the heavens to say lord i don't want to leave this place just knowing i'm blessed i want to know what happened to me i want to hold a substance god is speaking to someone here this this sharing the grace and say ah were you blessed oh my god miracle service was powerful that's not a blessing no you can hold on to something and know that i left this place what happened the pain is gone i left this place what happened that before the grace is shared you check your phone and all of a sudden a text that you have been waiting for for five years now that's an evidence this is what we are talking about all of a sudden you are sitting down while you are seeing me preach you have been trusting god for that prophetic grace and while the preaching is going all of a sudden your eyes are open you are saying so this is what apostle is saying and you are seeing the power of God touching somebody and then you hear me say there's someone here and you are saying my God I've gotten this Elisha knew when he got it Elisha knew when he got it he went to the sea where is the Lord God of Elijah and the river parted you are trusting God for the grace for revelation that before the meeting is over all of a sudden scriptures it's as if it's an injection from your spirit you are just connecting one revelation to this and you're saying I, I can't remember studying this and then you discern that something is happening something is happening that heaviness has gone where is the fear yesterday night i couldn't sleep the fear of death is gone listen philemon chapter 1 and verse 6 says that the communication of your faith might become effectual through the acknowledging of every good thing that is in you in christ if you don't expect it and you don't pay attention to it if i ask this gentleman to give me water i'm expectant i'm not expecting a handkerchief i'm expecting water anything i see that looks like water is attracting my attention a double-minded man let that man not think he will receive anything from god thank god for people falling and flying up and down but your eyes is stayed like a flint lord i left lagos this morning and i came here i left bielsa and i came here my car almost had an accident lord i would have been in a convention now as a man of god i left it to be here i'm looking for something let something come from heaven and your hunger is like a force that is drawing something from heaven and all of a sudden boom i tell you in one minute I remember many years ago when I was standing in the rain at Bonke Crusade. There were crowds of people like this. I didn't know what who wore. Whether you wore red or green or blue. My eyes were fixed. Lord, what did you give this man that made every nation to open to him? What kind of man is this that no one criticizes him? Abba. I didn't just go there to receive anointing for miracles alone. No. When it came i knew that i got it i knew that i got it listen my brothers and my sisters you can know that the load has been lifted you can know that the prayer has been answered you can know that the project is a done deal are we together 
the grace is here more than available for you and whilst we begin to pray don't just watch others receive be sensitive you are the one who knows what you are here for are we together in one minute i like you to open your mouth and cry mention specifically why are you here talk to the lord please pray please pray pray with all your heart Lord, I had a young man testify that you gave him properties. I had a young lady, born, had never smelled. She was not in a miracle service, just listening to a message. And all of a sudden, the healing power of God touches that lady and that's it. Lord, I'm tired of this lump. Lord, I'm tired of this medical report. I'm tired of watching my mother cry, my father cry. I'm tired of my ministry not growing. I'm tired of staying at a particular level in the anointing. Lord, I've heard testimonies of favor. I have an idea of what happens when a man is carrying favor. But Lord, I don't see it yet in my life. I'm here tonight for this one reason. Lord, even after the deliverance series, I've been seeing certain things happen in my life and my family. That pre-informs me that I will still need a second touch. A second touch over my family. My loved ones are not born again. Lord, I can't watch them go to hell like this. Don't be tired of praying. Please cry from the depth of your heart. Lord, I'm not going back with this disease. I'm not going back with this medical report. No way. No way. No way. I insist. I'm not going back barren. Tired of miscarriages. the universe what can you do what can you do Jesus you're the name above every other name what can you change what can you change Jesus one more time creator Creator of the universe, what can you do? What can you do, Jesus? I want you to see the Lord lifting your burden. You're the name above every other name. What can you change? What can you change, Jesus? You are able, great and mighty God. You are able, Jesus. You are able, great and 
I will continue to read it for you. Isaiah chapter 61. Please give it to us. The messianic prophecy. Jesus' own manifesto. He's saying, this is what I came to do. Isaiah 61. It says, the spirit of the Lord, we're reading from verse 1 to 4, is upon me because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings to the meek. He had sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives. Start looking for your own as I'm reading. And the opening of the prison to them that are bound. Verse 2. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God to comfort all those that mourn. Three to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion to give them beautiful ashes the oil of joy for mourning the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness that they might be called the oaks of righteousness the planting of the Lord that he might be glorified for and they shall build the old wastes they shall raise up the former desolations they shall repair waste cities, he says. The desolations of many generations. I'd like you to pray. Whatever needs to be fixed in your life and family, insist that tonight is the night when it will happen. Overflow one, pray. Overflow two. Overflow three, by the roadside. Those following from around the world, open up your heart and pray from the depth of your heart. hallelujah hallelujah the Lord just showed me something like a train you know a speed train not like we have it now just like a train just passed like this and I believe in my spirit that that is a typology of a grace for speed listen we are going to pray now and like i always say you'll find out when i pray you're going to see people running around in and out please just guide them and bring them out ushers whether you are an usher or not the ushers can only do so much i want to pray once i pray that prayer listen please i don't want you to get listen please hold on i don't want it, the idea is not about people falling down carrying them please let your spirit be open be open for when your word will come. Be open for when God will visit and locate you. That, that's, that's what you're here for. So I want to pray that prayer now. Jesus. I'm seeing a lot of those people at Overflow 1. A lot of the people who will be affected by this prayer. I know overflow one, the overflow outside. You see, let me tell you this. When a man, listen, when a man does not have speed in his life, you don't have the entire lifetime to do all that you should do. It, it takes more than just power, right? Please help those in overflow one, my God. I'm seeing very strange angelic activities happening already at overflow one outside. Now, listen when there is no speed in your life listen imagine that i have to walk from here to maybe the roadside and i'm tiptoeing 
on one leg am i moving yes sir but when will you arrive there the pressure that you will mount on this leg it will affect you to a point that you may not even stand it and so god when he wanted elijah to move because he had already been delayed the bible says the hand of the lord came upon elijah he was empowered of the spirit and he ran i i am I'm, I'm saying this before i pray so that you don't just think it's about anointing and people running around no when that grace comes upon you what god is saying is i'm ready to shift you that within a short time you will see a lot happen in your life in three days the work of redemption was done three days this powerful redemption did not happen in 12 years it happened in three days by the end of three days jesus had ascended poured his blood returned back he was ready he was now to launch the church big things don't have to take plenty time when the hand of god comes upon you you will see that a defining moment in your life can happen so fast are you ready now lift your hands i want to pray i will do the praying thank you jesus the lord is asking me to shout jesus not you now i'm the one shouting jesus i'm going to shout it and at the third time i tell you it's going to be an avalanche of the power of god let me have those people out lord you are bringing speed to your people and i know that there are angels all around it's time to change people's levels and even as you have instructed me oh god as i declare that name that is above every other name i pray that anyone under the sound of my voice who has been crippled in one position that in the name of the god of heaven an anointing will shift that person into his destiny jesus that's number one mm. jesus that's number two get ready now jesus let that anointing right now i shift man speed speed to your life oh god let every delay be broken now i command the spirit of delay be broken speed i shift you by the power of the holy ghost help that woman please help that mama there please help them whether you are an usher or not speed speed in the name of jesus i command everything that has refused to move in your life i move it by the power of the holy ghost i'm still praying i'm still praying the holy ghost is moving you except this prayer is not for you there is an anointing that must shift you must shift you by the power of the holy ghost lord shift them to their destinies please you will need to help the ushers whether you are an usher or not just just help them there's only so much you can do there's no power that keeps you down this is miracle service lift your hands please i'm praying for some of you now it's the same prayer but it's no longer just for you you may not be experiencing it but your family needs speed the anointing now is moving from individuals to families lord where are the families that need the shift of the holy ghost i decree and declare right now i speak by this apostolic and prophetic grace families be shifted now speed 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 kaparakoto shegeta i decree it i declare it i decree it and i declare it oh 
no more delay i stretch my hands i'm seeing an angel of the lord just on this road i stretch my hands right now i move people god is moving people here i decree i declare i decree i declare i decree i declare by the power of the holy ghost in the name of jesus in the name of jesus it must work for you i shift you no more delay in your life this lady wearing hijab right now the lord is shifting you that lady in the name of jesus i stretch my hands let the anointing of the spirit take away delay from your life right now in the name of jesus now all those in front i'm praying any chain that has tied anyone's leg or any family at the count of three i speak into the realm of the spirit those chains go now one two three go 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 i lose those families now I command chains be broken now let the families be set free in the name of Jesus young lady lift your hands you you put in your hand on your mouth. yes i'm seeing an angel pouring oil on you and the lord is saying that he's shifting things i'm seeing like a chain on your head being broken now i stretch my hands right now in the name of jesus let that chain be broken let that chain i command that devil i'm seeing a snake in the spirit let her go now in the name of jesus hallelujah be sensitive i want to pray a very serious prayer now he said behold i give you authority over snakes and scorpions if you don't like the prayer and pray no problem but i want to pray a dangerous prayer i'm seeing snakes this is what i'm seeing over families now let me tell you this reptilian objects is a representation of the spirit of sorcery in the name that is above all names i declare every spirit that has caged any family here i decree and i declare right now by the power of the holy ghost in the name of jesus and at the count of three everyone shout jesus as you shout jesus i see fire everywhere inside and outside there is massive deliverance about to happen I command every devil and every activity of sorcery to leave now. One, two, three. In the name of Jesus, I crush Satan. I crush his works inside, outside. I command every power, every force. Go now. Go now. Hallelujah. Please be sensitive. Just give me the volume. I'm seeing fire by my left and right. Just bring out all the people that fall under the anointing now. As I'm walking here. In the name of Jesus, I command that devil. You must go now. You must go now you must go now i declare it by the anointing of the holy ghost as soon as i come close to you that fire and there is an anointing you can't stand it it's impossible as soon as i come close to you as soon as i come close to you that fire there is a judgment let them go now 
I'm coming this way right now in the name of Jesus the power of God is coming this area this direction let them go now release them I come by the anointing of the Holy Ghost let them go now let them go now release them I'm seeing someone here tied around the stomach release them now let them go in the name of Jesus let them go now by the power of the Holy Ghost I stretch my hands here right now the fire of God is setting people free now lose them lose them lose them lose them lose them lose them now lose them lose them in the name of Jesus lose them now those outside lift your hands God is about to set you free please I like you to pray everyone pray enough is enough tonight everyone pray everyone pray now listen overflow one listen to me listen you don't have to touch me please you don't have to touch me but in the name of Jesus hear me the Lord brought me out here because the time has come for something to leave someone as soon as I pass here I don't have to come close to you you are going to feel fire all all over that fire that will be the end of it you must testify right now I stretch my hands right right now it's over over now Shakos Katarika Eketo Satarikata Embreketo Sheketa Akato Shekriaka Manta Brekotos Let them go 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 now the spirit of sorcery I cause it now the spirit of witchcraft I cause it now please help your neighbor so they don't enjoy themselves go go be free I command that power by fire by fire by fire it leaves you now those of you here I want you to lift your hands overflow two overflow two lift your hands let me go to the front there enough is enough as I pass this place listen I want you to be very sensitive there is a strong anointing tonight overflow two please help your neighbors I'm only going to pass here right there as soon as I come close to you except God is not God if there is any force holding you holding your life and your ministry it must go right now right now in Jesus name be free be free now be free now be free now I command those devils go 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 let them go 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 now release them release them release them every covenant release them I break that power now 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 be broken hallelujah praise the Lord praise the Lord now listen I didn't know we have an extra overflow here I want to pray for those by the side here as I stretch my hands to you please don't waste your time I'm seeing fire already here in the name of Jesus at the count of three those of you by the roadside one two let them go by the power of the Holy Ghost I release you please help them so they don't injure themselves I declare I decree and I declare you are free praise the Lord overflow three your life is about to change listen listen honestly there is there is an anger in my spirit because as I entered I'm just seeing chains everywhere right now in the name of Jesus at the count of three bring all of them out from the front to the back right now at the count of three overflow three all of you shout Jesus one two three every power bring them out Makapos, 
every yoke every force every operation of darkness bring them out I'm seeing chains on people's feet. Chains, chains, chains. Be broken now. 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 Chains, be broken now. Hallelujah. Bring them out. Overflow three. Lift your hands. I'm still praying. Listen. I'm seeing. I'm seeing patterns. Something that is not just happening to you alone. Happening to your father, your mother. As soon as I pray now, I'm seeing fire all over this place. Anyone under that case, you must be free now. At the count of three. Anyone holding any pattern any generational thing in the name that is above all names at the count of three one two three shout jesus bring them out that devil must let you go today my god Look at what God is doing in Overflow 3. Shaprakato shekete skaba. Embrekato koto shabaria. Look at what God is doing in this place. Embrekete kete keto shabarukatos. Hallelujah. Listen to me. The Lord is showing me. I'm coming back. But I don't know why God is, is, is on the case of overflow 3. The Lord is showing me some of you. I'm seeing you are climbing a ladder. But that ladder breaks down and brings you down. You see things as if it's supposed to happen. But a force draws you back. The moment someone wants to lift you. You will have a dream in the night. And in that, in that dream. Someone will come to sleep with you. Or something will happen. Right now at the count of 3. Shout Jesus. I command those devils. One, two, three. Let them go now. Let them go now. Total emancipation. Hallelujah. Jakakos kaparusi kata hasana katushia. Embrekata katos kata brekatish. Now, now. All those who are under the anointing here outside I pass a decree that every power that has held you I speak as one send at the count of three let them go one two three go 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 let them go lose your hold over their lives let them go now let them go now let them go now hallelujah I'm inside this place now and I'm standing in the spirit. I've not started impartation yet, but the Lord is showing me the number 12 and the Lord is saying there are 12 people here. There is a strong call upon your life. There is a mighty anointing. Lord, where are they? Drink Think of that wine. Manteca Shaprakata. A ministry of signs and wonders ministry of signs and wonders a ministry of signs and wonders a ministry of signs and wonders signs and wonders signs and wonders i'm still praying the anointing of the spirit is still locating men i don't know why god is talking about ministry the call don't run away from the call don't run from the call a ministry of signs and wonders the lord is telling someone you are the liberator of your family a ministry of signs 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 there are ladies here entering that ministry of signs and wonders signs and wonders 
Hallelujah. Main auditorium, lift your hands. I'm seeing, I'm seeing a distribution of the healing anointing going on in the main auditorium. And I stretch my hands from here. It doesn't matter what overflow. You just be sensitive to what God is doing. Main auditorium. I'm seeing eight people. Eight people in the main auditorium. At the count of three. Right now in the name of Jesus. Fire will come upon your hands. I'm prophesying to the main auditorium. But everybody can receive. I decree and declare that healing anointing. One. Two. Three. Let that anointing come now. Let it come now. Fresh fire. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. I'm seeing. Oh my God. The Lord is opening my eyes here. I'm, I'm seeing someone don't don't be ashamed and don't be embarrassed your father i don't know if i'm seeing something like a priest this is someone that worships something like an idol is in your house i'm not saying you're a bad person please i'm not saying you're a bad person you grew up seeing this happen that they worship those idols that gentleman is here in overflow three oh, oh, oh yeah please who is that person come i want to break that thing now from your life please quickly Please make sure you hear what I say before you come. Just let make way for them. Karakosa has kanabakato jabra ateskini hasia. Krakato zakenda sana has kalabako prakatos. The power of witchcraft. Young man, you're going to be a mighty man of God. I don't know you. Lift your hands. An anointing is coming upon you now, huh? It will shift you to a realm of signs and wonder. Or let that anointing come upon him right now in the name of jesus christ hold my hands my dear the power of idols in the name of jesus i break that force now i break that force now i break the force now testimony of breakthrough for you and for your family in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of jesus hallelujah i'm praying listen i stretch my hands towards you and i speak i don't know what it is that you have been involved in but in jesus name i'm stretching my hands why am i seeing fire leaving my hands who is it looking for in the name of jesus christ I command everything that is not of God be broken now. The blood be broken now. By the blood be broken now. By the blood be broken now. By the blood be broken now. Hallelujah. Just two more things I'll do here. Whether I'm in this overflow or not, I just stood here to show you that it makes no difference. I know the larger congregation is here. Lift your hands, all of you, if you can. Just lift it as high to the heavens. Now, I'm seeing, you don't have to come out, but I'm seeing keys in the spirit. Listen, this is access to a new dimension. And I'm seeing the number 44. Just lift your hands. You don't need to say anything. Father, I stand as one sent. Those keys are locating families and locating people. It may be a key that explains why things have not been working. Lord, from the front to the back, like a mighty wind, whoever must receive that key, receive it now. Receive it now. Receive it now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ.
let her go now out out now now this lady wearing a red hair tie in the name of jesus i'm seeing a grace that is coming let that anointing come upon you in the name of jesus christ let that anointing come upon you hallelujah overflow three i'm seen by the spirit the lord is opening my eyes and i'm seeing the names of members of your family like written already written already i'm going to pray listen except god has not sent me as i'm praying some of you instantly the power of god will come upon you and god is going to open your eyes you are going to see victory and deliverance in fact i see a family where three of your siblings they've married none of them has a child none of them at all has a child they've done everything to do but there's no child but i stand in the name of the lord father where are those families right now like a mighty wind like a mighty wind oh god let it end right now let there be an opening let there be an opening let there be an opening in the name that is above all names let there be an opening young lady come call that lady for me call this gentleman too this man yes bring him in the name of jesus you need to be delivered i command the spirit that torments you to go now by the power of the holy ghost i release you my dear hold my hands to you i'm seeing that your life is about to change two weeks from now it will surprise you what the lord is going to do in your life i decree and i declare it over your life i stand by the anointing and i pray for you father according to your word within two weeks turn this lady's life around supernaturally in the name of jesus emeka who is emeka emeka i'm hearing a name emeka overflow three here i'm just talking to overflow three people emeka emeka please quickly please quickly don't waste our time where is that gentleman what's your name i want to pray what do you do i'm going to pray for you you are not from this place you came for nyc I want to pray lift your hands because i'm seeing look at me the lord is giving you the grace for wealth huh i want you to believe it but every prosperity that does not have an assignment will end up destroying the people you love jesus with all your heart i want to pray for you it will surprise you the way god will begin to turn things around in your life father change this gentleman's story in the name of jesus forever overflow three i'm still praying the spirit of prophecy is coming on nine people i will count four at the fourth count one two three where are they oh god four nine people nine people the spirit of prophecy the spirit of prophecy all of you open your mouth and begin to pray everything you desire overflow three open your mouth and decree open your mouth and decree i'm seeing an anointing around here who is that person i stretch my hands i'm seeing chains breaking just within this region as i'm standing here father let the chains be broken now the anointing of the spirit find that person let the chains be broken right now right now right now right now right now right now be broken now Hallelujah. please everyone pray everyone pray everyone pray everyone pray hold on
there's someone here the lord is saying i'm rolling away your shame i'm seeing light as i was just passing i just saw light two people let the anointing find those people now two people right now i decree overflow two right now in jesus name in jesus name in jesus name i decree and declare by the anointing of the holy ghost shame reproach let it go now shame reproach let it go now shame reproach help them let it go now in the name of jesus christ who is gabriel 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 i'm hearing a name who is gabriel is there someone like that you are wearing a maroon you are wearing like maroon kaftan gabriel maroon kaftan is there someone like that what's your name do i know you lift your hands my brother god is about to change your life god is about to turn your life around um where are you coming from i want to pray for you you love jesus what is is it oleku or aleku what is that huh huh where are you from benway state you are from benway state this is what has tied down your life and your family i want to pray for you i'm not a herbalist there eh? father in the name of jesus let this gentleman be free right now i command that devil to leave you now just keep him there in the name of jesus these two people this gentleman you yes and the lady by you come quickly please blow 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 like a mighty wind spirit of victory what do you do my friend you're a student you love jesus i want to pray for you huh yes, are you together yes sir because i saw light on husband and wife yes please, well i'm not going to discuss your issue now but two of you need deliverance eh? you love jesus but you need serious deliverance based on what i'm seeing now huh you are not husband and wife yet but i'm seeing a lot of stories father in the name of jesus look at me you're going to be very wealthy but the first thing you need to edit are your friends huh hear what i'm telling you huh my, uh, my sister you know what i'm saying right huh so your friends huh confirm sir listen to me you are not truly born again if your friends don't change hear it from me all this born again that is one leg and you have all kinds of friends if if i am a drunkard and you are not a drunkard but we are staying together i'm close to a drunkard that means i can be implicated by everything a drunkard can be implicated by is that true so my friend you love god eh? but you see um look at what i'm doing one leg in one leg out huh don't be embarrassed when i make the altar call you need to run and come quickly jesus is not just some religious thing that you just run to just for no 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 no. Let, let's take god serious and take him look what i see my friend i see god turning your life in a way that will surprise you but friends and this is not just a message to this gentleman alone it's a message to many of us because the demons that destroy our lives work by bringing wrong friends they make you compromise your values it's not your fault but when they come they are vocal about what they believe and because you do not have a community of like-minded believers but let me tell you the truth it matters who you listen to if the devil positions a wrong person to counsel you and they give you a counsel of Ahitophel God may be calling you to a great ministry but you will hear a counsel that would destroy God's purpose over your life I pray for everyone here that in the name of Jesus if you are under the yoke of wrong friends I stand and I speak right now may the Lord set you free this night in the name of Jesus Christ my dear there is favor on your life but it's not speaking at all hmm? you are a nice lady come I'm looking at you I'm seeing a young lady but I'm seeing the face of you and another old woman flashing me and going back see wickedness is real oh. let me tell you my brothers and my sisters wickedness is real huh it's a young beautiful lady you see her standing but you now look at it do you know 
let me explain something whatever overflow just listen i want to explain something you see this is the mistake that we men of god make sometimes i can look at a beautiful lady like this now and see the face of an old woman and if my word base is not sound and balanced i will i will interpret the vision i've seen verbatim and now call her a witch you see the mistake we make that we call people and then assuming now they are married i will now advise him and say mr man you married a witch oh you do you know what it means to be a witch so uh, god is you see that god is is balancing a lot of things in our lives let's be careful because sometimes we may see a vision i already know what is happening it is true that the lady needs help but it doesn't mean imagine that i look at this lady now and say my dear, you're a witch no this is a lovely she has a beautiful heart i already see by the spirit very beautiful heart but it beauty and a good heart does not take away oppression it takes the power of god how terrible art thou in your ways through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves so many of you are here you find out for instance the moment you enter a relationship come for instance as you mean i enter a relationship with this lady and you find out that there may be something wrong in her life and it starts affecting me have you seen that happen i'm doing well in business but just because i married this lady i start going down and now you meet a man of god and if the man if you're in ministry here please be careful you have to trust god for grace to be balanced are we together i can now look at this lady and say ah your wife is the reason behind your failure um what i'm trying to say is that oh there might be a spirit connected to her that is affecting me and the works of my hands but it doesn't mean she's bad a good man of god will bring about that separation and then through the transforming power of the word now help this couple to stand and become the best of couple because a body without a spirit is dead so it's not about condemning and destroying the body are you getting it now so my dear let me tell you you're a wonderful lady huh we're going to deal with this nonsense now this whatever it is that the devil is bringing, because this thing is affecting your life you don't know why good things don't come to you you're a very nice lady hold my hands father hold it with both of your hands i decree and declare ah i'm seeing fire leaving my hands in the name of jesus i command this devil i'm seeing through the face of this old woman be gone now my dear i set you free and i open the door of favor for you right now please everybody lift your hands i'm seeing i've not seen this in a long time i'm seeing the map of nigeria and i'm seeing an anointing going to benway state Benway State now. Benway State. You are from Benway State. You see that that power will touch you. Even if you don't know what state you are from. Benway State. Lord, where is in the name of Jesus? The power of God is bringing deliverance. Benway State. In the name that is above all names. In the name that is above all names. In the name of Jesus. Madam, I'm going to pray for you. Two things. I'm seeing that the devil wants to put stroke, complete stroke. The devil wants to paralyze you from head to toe. But we're going to destroy that now. In the name of Jesus, hold my hands. I decree and declare, be free now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Madam, I don't know you, but ah, you please come. Ah. This is your first time coming? I need to pray for you. What do you do, ma? you are jobless man huh i'm looking at you and i'm seeing in the realm of the spirit two of your hands are tied there is nothing you do that works and prospers it's not normal you are a very good woman please don't be embarrassed i hope i'm not embarrassing you i want to pray for you i give you three weeks 21 days ma your life will turn around in a way that will surprise you i lay my hands right now and I declare, I'm seeing chains leaving you. I command those chains to go. Father, turn her life around. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Please open your mouth and begin to pray. Hold on. Hold my hands. In the name of Jesus Christ. I open that closed door now. I open that closed door now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. 
please open your mouth and begin to pray everyone open your mouth and pray the lord is asking me to stand here just here just to stand here because the lord is bringing breakthrough here and here here and here right now here and here i command right now by the power of the holy spirit every planting that is not of god i uproot it now i uproot it now i uproot it now lift your voice and begin to pray please lift your voice and begin to pray in the name of jesus lift your voice and begin to pray lift your voice and begin to pray hallelujah praise the lord i know our time is gone we're going to be very fast sir you're welcome sir can i pray for you sir why are they here priest you sir you are a priest i stabbed my father stabbed and died sorry where are you from sir i'm from my lord sir i want to pray for you the bible says even the lawful captives even the lawful captives my brothers and my sisters you will be surprised to see what happens in your life after this miracle service this this woman come madam you yes come please quickly come we're out of time say in jesus name say it in jesus name my life is about to change say it again say in jesus name reproach is leaving me now in the name of jesus let it go forever in jesus name sir i hold your hands and in the name of jesus every ordinance that is not of god help him i command that it is broken right now you are an elderly man but i use you as a point of contact we break every ordinance of darkness this this lady too priest you your dad your father is a priest currently oh where Oshun state don't be embarrassed eh? you are here because jesus wants to help you lord jesus it is not your will that any man perish but that everyone comes to the knowledge of the truth i deliver this lady right now everything they have given you to drink and eat i stand by the rod of a higher priesthood and i set you free now be gone now out let it leave her i'm seeing that the father has given her so many things in her life but in the name of jesus hi jesus power is really super power really super power that in one moment something that has been done in a lifetime can live out now everything that is not of god her father is a priest or not her uncle direct father imagine how many times she has been involved in all of these things but in jesus name you are set free this this man too why is he here look at my eyes just look at my eyes you are receiving the healing anointing now huh? in the name of jesus christ lord grant him access to the healing anointing your healing power now oh dear our time is gone this is sometimes i honestly wish that this is because there are so many things i see but we have to work with time this lady you come hurry up now please come uh, we're out of time wonderful lady look at me you are a savior to your family you hear what i said you are a savior you may look small but you are a savior to your family the only thing is that you need to continually be serious with God. Your heart with him. Your heart with him. Hold my hands. Father, in the name of Jesus, I take away distraction from her life. Right now, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, I take away distraction. I take away distraction. I, we have we've not even prayed for the sick. Or... My dear, come this lady waving your hands come quickly your life is about to change come where are you coming from you are coming from abuja yes, i'm here with my husband husband where are you sir 
Let's clap for the husband. Two of you came from Abuja. Last time. You came with? For SOM. Came. I can't remember. You came with your... Oh, your son was a graduate of SOM. No. We came with him. Oh, okay. So I'm a graduate. I want to pray. What do you do, sir? Um, I'm a minister of God, but at the same time, I do business. But it's sir, I want to pray for you. Eh? Things are not working. You need the anointing. You are a sincere man. My dear, the prophetic grace is coming on you as I'm speaking now. In the name that is above all names, I stretch my hands. That anointing, you will start having dreams. Receive that grace. Two of you need empowerment. Ministry ministry without genuine empowerment will make it look as if you are wasting your time are you a man of god stand up stand up take that anointing now in the name of jesus you step into a new dimension i take away shame and reproach from your life and ministry from today you step into a realm of signs wonders miracles in the name of jesus can i pray for you sir look at me hold my hands hold my hands just hold it with both of your hands in the name of jesus i transfer grace signs and wonders strange testimonies your business between now and 30th of november sir your finances will change you and your wife in ways that will surprise you you will come back and testify in the name of jesus christ this man waving your hands come together with that woman by your side who is she come please two of you quickly let's appreciate them as they come oh, oh, oh. I want to pray for you ah. madam I'm looking at you you're a nice woman but I'm seeing you carrying a load huh I'm seeing you like this and I'm seeing a load on your head and if I don't pray for you this load is going to destroy you I want to pray for you where are you coming from are you new here uh, by Elsa by Elsa hmm. all the way I think we should appreciate them <laughs> what do you do sir I'm a pastor you're a pastor you are in ministry, both of you? Evangelist. My ministry is separate. Your ministry is separate, evangelist. but both of you came from yes, Bielsa. You are an evangelist. Yes. You pastor a church? Yes. How long has it been? Okay, I was uh, about four years now in Bielsa. But you were somewhere? Yes, I was in Abuja. You were in Abuja? Yes. And then you left Abuja and went to Bielsa. Do you know what happened? Is it your church now? You're serving someone else's church. Okay, I want to pray for you. Because what I see God do through your life, I'm seeing God giving you two things. The grace for leadership, number one. Number two, the grace for finances. These two graces, God is giving it to you. I don't know you, sir. I'm seeing you for the first time. Ma, you're an evangelist. I'm going to pray for you. What do you do? You hold crusades and all of that? No, I, I usually have meetings every month and then I speak on radio. I have a live radio. I do my evangelical on radio and then. Oh, you TV. do a live radio? Yes, live radio talk show. Three things one, barrenness. Two, poverty. Three, witchcraft. You are carrying the grace to smash nonsense out of these three things as you are going back. Don't forget. Huh? The same grace on you, I'm seeing it come on this lady. This one. This one. This lady I'm talking to. I want to pray for you. Sir, this thing is an election of grace. You see, I'm, I'm also a spectator. The same way you are watching. Me too, I'm watching. With wonder and shock, the way this thing works. That God can just change a man's life overnight overnight evangelist my hold my hands father this is a dear woman of god all the way from bielsa i stand by the anointing of the holy spirit and i declare 
fresh anointing fresh dimensions in the spirit and i pray madam the lord is asking me to pray for your finances seriously for your finances and then the lord is saying i should tell you to pray for faithful workers i'm seeing you do a program for women when you go back this thing i'm seeing is going to be a powerful program there is a program in abuja that looks like what you would do it's called when women pray i'm seeing that same kind of grace on you that you are going back to bielsa and god is giving you uncommon grace for women in the name of jesus i decree and i declare you carry that grace right now madam my god will honor you ah in the name of jesus supernatural grace drink of that wine sir i'll pray for you the grace for leadership the grace for finance but i'm ah, it's not only pastoring i'm seeing you do what else do you do i manufacture paint you manufacture paint that's right sir what am i seeing this is somebody it's, it's not directly the government but this is somebody that is connected to the government the lord is going to connect him to you it's, it has something to do with supplies that thing will make you millions overnight in a way that it will surprise you please write it you will see it happen father in the name of jesus i pray for this man of god i stretch my hands drink of that wine that anointing drink of that wine you will never be the same i stretch my hands i take away every limitation from your life and i decree and i declare your life turns around from today in the name of jesus give jesus praise goodness 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 can we still pray for the sick we can't close this without praying for the sick in the name of jesus be healed from it now i command that devil that virus go now in the name of jesus you go and write your test bring back your results it's gone listen i can we yeah, time is gone. Oh dear. you see how sometimes this thing we are really constrained that's why we do our best the healing anointing is already flowing god wants to heal maybe i'll just pray i'll just pray for the sick from here we'll do it that way right but make no mistakes just that you that you are not coming out doesn't mean i want to pray for you now we'll take a few testimonies now in the last three or four months i have seen i don't know why this happens but i have seen a dimension of the healing power of god very creative miracles so i want to pray you are trusting god for a miracle lay your hand right now on your body quickly i want to pray for you now please believe god for a miracle now this is what will happen overflow one two three the roadside and then those following us online our time is gone but as soon as i pray for you now i pray for you the power of god is going to come upon you i'm going to ask you to check yourself praise the lord we may not take all the testimonies but since we have chosen this method now as soon as i pray i ask you to check yourself you will be surprised what has happened to you and whether you are in overflow one two or three i'm going to ask you to run very quickly you're going to come right here pastor jimmy will be here with pastor alpha they will just check you and we'll take one or two of the testimonies and i'll just confirm that um how many of you brought your prayer request let me see did you bring your prayer request okay ushers this is what you, i want you to do pr department help them protocol please help them while i'm praying for the sick i think we can do it too your prayer request please make sure that your prayer request or that of your loved ones get to the ushers just lift it the ushers have a system of collecting it you don't have to be rowdy those outside you can pass it to the last person in the aisle if you will not bring any confusion you can have that very quickly please lay your hands now i want to pray jesus
a lady in overflow one is going to shout a loud shout for everybody to hear as soon as that shout happens i'll begin to pray for the sick very loud shout from overflow one a strong anointing is coming on that person the moment that happens that's the shout there now i'm ready to pray for the sick in the name please agree with me everyone in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare right now those under the anointing you don't have to bring them out i'm, I'm praying now every spirit of infirmity please make sure you are hearing me overflow one two three every spirit of infirmity right now by the power of the holy ghost i curse you now i curse you now say amen i curse you now in the name of jesus i command every spirit behind every infirmity over anyone's life be healed now in jesus name be healed my god the power of god is touching people already be healed in the name of jesus be healed in the name of jesus be healed in the name of jesus overflow one two three by the roadside be healed in the name of jesus now i command every blood condition be healed from it now in jesus name peptic ulcer the lord is healing ulcer right now be healed in the name of jesus christ be healed in the name of jesus christ lumps all kinds of lumps multiple lumps i command those devilish lumps to live now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing a number of people having um hepatitis the lord is healing hepatitis right now by the power of the holy ghost eye conditions in the name of jesus you're going to feel fire just come to your eyes be healed right now in the name of jesus be healed in the name of jesus every pain that has to do with the bones i decree and declare let the power of god touch you right now there's someone you have severe pain around your back just right here your lumbar vertebra in the name of jesus i stretch my hands be healed right now in jesus name be healed in jesus name there's someone you don't hear well with your this is left left ear and then sometimes you just hear like a sharp you know how bees are that sound the power of god is touching you right now in the name of jesus every kind of fibroid every kind of growth in your stomach in the name of jesus be healed from it now be healed from it now be healed from it now now whether i mention your case or not whatever is wrong with you i stretch my hands and i declare be healed in the name of jesus be healed in the name of jesus some of you when you fell under the anointing long before i started praying for the sick you got up and found out that you have been healed now overflow one if they are coming here for the healing please just clear the way for them overflow one overflow two overflow three and the roadside I'll give you a minute those online if you're healed you can you know just just send it as an inbox on our Facebook page or you can find a way to post it I want you to check yourself now within a minute or two the moment you find out that the power of God has touched you make your way some of you you get up under the anointing you find out that the pain there's a lady who has a severe case of bleeding go and check yourself the bleeding is gone gone completely and I'm seeing someone heaviness around the chest is just lifted gone like that please check yourself very quickly and come we may not take all the testimonies but at least let's take a few while we are doing that let me have all the prayer requests very quickly god bless you check yourself quickly koinonia are you celebrating jesus the lord is touching people show them where to come look at look at god touching people already please make your way make your way the power of god has touched you those outside overflow one overflow two clear the way for them just come you can stand on the queue there and let's have one or two testimonies god bless you koinonia are you celebrating miracles here 
make your way be bold don't be ashamed make your way as soon as the power of god has touched you back pain since hold last on year hold you. on just a moment please all make sure if 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 your prayer request has not been collected please i want you to wave it jesus is still healing people you just come join the queue god bless you yes please back pain since last year can healed. you sit for a, a few minutes just sit for a few minutes and then we're done let's just hear the testimonies if as you are hearing the testimony god is still healing people and i want you to make your way and then come to okay go ahead pastor Alpha. my god the... god is still touching people i'm seeing people being touched even in overflow three overflow three check yourself right now and make your way yes please you go mentioned ahead. the case of back pain she's been having the problems this last month back but pain. she's now how long come my dear let's have another mic please anytime we're doing this please technically it should be a standard procedure you should know what we're doing please so that we don't delay unnecessarily how long my dear since last month yes in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare it never returns again by the power of the holy spirit back pain gone forever heaviness in the chest disappeared how long my dear just when you came here in the name of jesus hold my hands um i'm seeing someone you had something like a a growth around your neck check it now you'll be surprised to find out it's gone gone completely gone completely by the power of the holy ghost gone completely in jesus name i declare that every operation of darkness over you is gone in jesus name give jesus praise deafness in the left ear since 2012 since 2012 oh come on koinonia how long my friend a man of God told me about it in 2012 and I prayed but I was hearing those B sounds and I don't hear really which of them put your hand there now in the name of Jesus it never never returns to you by the power of the Holy Spirit yes ulcer you mentioned ulcer, ulcer. how long yes. okay where are you from Kaduna, sir. Kaduna State yes, sir. that's where you are from yes, your state of origin no biologically Biologically, where are you from? I'm from each Patal Court. I mean, I'm Brown State. There's a reason why I said this. There's a lot. You don't know where you are from. There is a long story. Leave the issue of healing now. Where? Eh? I need to pray for you. Don't feel bad. Huh? Look at me. Where are your parents? Who are you staying with? My mom and mother. My stepdad at Kaduna. It's okay i'll talk to you eh? father help this gentleman because this gentleman is a great gentleman but there is a lot i'm seeing in your life i crush the hand of darkness over your life now and i declare be free in jesus oh, name koinonia you are pain. not celebrating you are so used to miracles in this place he was feeling the May pain but as you prayed for him it left it's gone completely how long Since july. july in the name of jesus christ may the lord perfect you Apostle, you mentioned someone with pain at the back. It was her for the past three years. What's your name, my dear? Juliana. Juliana. You mentioned something, the lower... Uh, the lower ventilla. back pain. And it affected her left leg also. This pain in Check her back. Check it now. Check it. Check it. Any pain? Yes. It's gone completely. Give the Jesus last three praise. years. <laughs> in the name of Jesus Christ. It never returns to you again. Please make sure that we have the request. If you are still yet, if you are still with your own, wave it just wave it and an usher will come look at that man and you are sitting quietly there you wave it and let them know pain at the back completely healed pain at the back you fell under the anointing ah see you looking in the name of jesus it's, it's a good baguette my friend huh if you fall under the anointing and your destiny arises it's a wise baguette is that true in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare never again in your life The power of God is coming on someone in overflow one. Overflow one. Please carry the person and bring the person. Overflow one. The overflow by the roadside. Overflow two. Sorry. Overflow two. I meant to say. Ah, look how powerful the power of God is. I said overflow one and nothing happened. I just said overflow two. Then I now went to say. She's had pain on the left left shoulder since How 2007. How long, my dear? Let her talk. How long? 2007. 
You've had what? I've had this pain. It will come and go, come and go. But today it has been intense. But when you mentioned the case, the pain left. It's gone completely. Check yourself. Do what you couldn't do. Up, down. Come. In the name of Jesus Christ. I will pray, but the person I'm talking about is overflow two. Overflow two. The overflow by the roadside. So you bring the person in the name of Jesus. Perfection for you right now. In Jesus' name. She's had serious um, back pain. That back she pain. Had to start horse riding so that you can correct. But today they asked you to ride a horse. Yes. Who said you should ride a horse? The doctor? Yeah. Or just advisors? <laughs> don't, don't <listen>. She's shy. <laughs> the horse. This is the man. It's amazing how you come for koinonia minding yourself and you are surprised to see people just carrying you and you're wondering where am I going to? Hi. The anointing. Amazing. Let me just talk to them and then don't worry, do your horse thing, eh? I'm just happy that you are healed. So you can go and ride your horse now for fun. In the name of Jesus, you are perfected, completely perfected. In Jesus' name. I take away this proverb called Ichabod over your life and over your family. I'm speaking to both of you now from Overflow 2. In the name of Jesus, I set you free. And I decree and declare that that proverb shall no longer be mentioned in your life. It will no longer be Ichabod. In Jesus' name. I'm coming here, but you are the one I'm talking to. Eh? Debbie, it's not the, this person. You hold this one. Don't worry, they will hold her. In the name of Jesus, the Lord is saying he is going to use you to change everything in your family. It will be like a dream, but he is going to use you. He's making you a savior over your family. Don't ask how it's going to happen. It's by the anointing. The spirit entered me when he spake unto me that God is going to use you and change everything in your family. In the name of Jesus. Yes, go ahead. She's had severe menstrual pain since she started menstruating that resulted in serious back pain. How Came old are you now? Pain this evening. Sir? How old are you now? 21. 21? And she's had severe menstrual pain. Yes. And she came here with the pain today. But the Don't pain is believe gone. that thing, oh. In the name of Jesus, I cancel it forever. Amen. Say amen. amen. By the power of the Holy Spirit, severe menstrual pain goes back to hell. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. amen. Yes, sir. She had headache, heaviness in the chest. Heaviness? In the chest. Okay. And then she had severe headache. And as she prayed for her, it totally and, left. And what? Hiccup. She's, the heaviness used to make her hiccup. She was even hiccuping during the service. But as you prayed, she's totally healed. God bless you. Look at me. Where did you come from? Kaduna. Kaduna State. You are going back. Eh? Where's your mother? She's in Bauchi. When are you going to see her? I'm serving in Kaduna, so it has to be December. December. If I, if I give you an instruction for your mother, will you obey it? Huh? Look for 1,000 Naira recharge card. Eh? Send it to your mother to bless her and watch what happens in your life. You just do what I ask you to do. It's not some superstition. Please, you get my point. It's just the law of honor that will trigger something. I release my faith with you. Your mother is going to pray one prayer for you that looks like she's playing, but you watch what that play will do in your life. In she had ulcer, peptic ulcer. As she prayed for her, she was totally... Peptic healed. ulcer. How long? Put your hand on your chest. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare, peptic ulcer goes back to hell. In the mighty name of Jesus, goes to hell forever. She also had ulcer, but she also had kidney inflammation. She used to feel a sharp pain. She's been healed of the ulcer. Now when she presses the place before press she it. would feel, press it. Press it. Any pain? No pain. Gone completely. No. Come on, Koinonia. May God forgive you. May God, you people have seen signs and wonders too much to a point that God bless you. He had a sharp pain in his left side. Okay. You mentioned it. And then he also used to experience dizziness. That he would just be standing, be dizzy and then slump. But as you prayed for him, he was totally you healed. just slump like that? Yeah, they may even have to catch it. It happened, it happened once, August, August 26th. You just slumped like that? Yes, I was falling and then my brother caught me. Come. What if you fall down like the epileptic patient that used to fall inside fire? The devil will just wait until you are crossing a bridge. 
then that wicked spirit will come because he comes to steal to kill and to destroy in jesus name i set you free you are free now you are free forever in jesus name back pain disappeared he's had back pain for a long time back pain sir now. yes in jesus name let it go and go forever never to return again in sometimes the two eyes go blind other times only the right one go blind but now he's totally healed he can see with both eyes have you gone to the hospital for this but sometimes you just go blank like that come in the name of jesus put your hands on your eyes i decree and declare perfection for you by the anointing of the holy ghost in the name of jesus christ he's had back pain for a long time he's healed now back pain you see god is when there are messages behind miracles you see that god is healing a lot of back pain because it's a revelation it's not just the bones are what gives structures to a person doctors tell us that means that by this miracle god is speaking through it right like he's doing the miracle of ezekiel 37 the bones coming back it took the bones to come back for an army to rise therefore i'm praying that everything that is out of order out of joint out of place in your life by the anointing that is characterized by these miracles let there be a restoration of it in the name of jesus christ amen and amen god bless you yes please go ahead so back pain he came here with waist pain sorry waist pain he came here with how long serious pain 2014 and now it's gone. try to turn it's gone he Completely. squatted for me and um, no squat you've not you did it for him yes. you didn't do it for me ah, it looks like a footballer gone and gone forever in jesus name apostle you mentioned so he's laughing on, until he fell under the anointing a buzzing sound in his left ear and he couldn't hear yes, oh okay you mentioned it and he was hearing the buzzing sound yes, all through but as you mentioned it it's gone now what's your name sir yeah since 2014 for the past four years it's gone completely the left ear give totally jesus praise healed. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and I declare by the power of God, never, never, never returns to you again. Apostle, her left hand, the middle finger, she couldn't bend it at all. She has gone for treatment. She couldn't bend it Which at one? all. Which one? The middle finger. The longest How long? One. Last year. Why couldn't you bend it? I don't know. I bend it now. Let them see it. Look at this. And then as you were praying for the lady with menstrual pain, she also had, as you were praying right now, as she came for the testimony, the menstrual pain also left let it go back to hell and never come to you again in the name of jesus christ she had weak your father's salvation ah we are experts in praying for salvation here you need to find out how god saves people here where you, it's not that god saves them it's how he saves them that is a sign and a wonder i was preaching the series on um reality of heaven and hell and there was one malam he came for koinonia he was seated outside and while i was praying he, he was studying his, 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 his let me study your IRK or what he was studying something like that and then all of a sudden he just i mean koinonia just disappeared and he saw a vision of heaven outside overflow one and the lord jesus was talking to him that's how the guy got born again remember years ago the gentleman that came here that gentleman that belonged to a cult group you you know the the guy that funny guy that came outside thinking that this is some harbourless place as soon as i climbed here all that the guy saw was i hope he's still in christ but as far as <laughs> yes the one that slept three days on a graveyard to get power and so when he was here and saw power he said ah, there's power here whether it's demonic power or god's power there's really power here in the name of jesus there is grace that saves men we declare that your father comes to the genuine saving knowledge of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ God bless witness you. was ill when we take the last person that would be also that we can yes, in please. overflow three witness overflow three. the pain so as you went outside and you minister ah, she fell under god the power visited of god. overflow three today oh this miracle service was for overflow three as she fell under the power she stood up perfectly whole. completely it's gone in the name of jesus it never returns to you again yes please go ahead she said she was feeling headache and then generally she wasn't feeling fine but and as you prayed come my dear in the name of jesus christ it goes second her body is even hot you can see that her body came is ill cough but everything is in the name of jesus
the name of Jesus Christ. It goes forever. Next person, okay. please. He's had um, back pain for a while. During the seven days fasting program, yes. he was healed. But yesterday, the symptoms came back. But right now, he has been permanently healed. What was the issue, sir? Back pain. Back pain. Come. You see the, you see the, the thing again I'm telling you? Miracles are messages in Jesus' name. Back pain goes and goes forever. Yes, she's please. had serious kata since 2010 that lasted for three years. Is it that kata? And came back again, but right now she's completely healed. Completely healed. Put your hand on your chest. Lord Jesus, let this lady be perfected now, perfected forever. I bring you the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Forever healed, forever perfected. And the Lord is saying, I should tell you, He's bringing restoration restoration to your life in Jesus name. Now he's had back pain since 2006 and then hmm. as he sat there and you mentioned the case he believed he was healed but the symptoms were still there. Yes. While he stood up from there to come here the symptoms disappeared. That's number because one. Because God will always honor faith. Come my friend. Then the second thing was that he had this chest pain he had done his ECG scan and they told him they were going to place him on hypertension hmm. drugs but while he stood here, the pains disappeared. The heaviness left. Hypertension, back to sender. Back to the devil that sent it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Yes, please. Her grandfather died of this ulcer pain. Her father has it. Her sister has it. And then she's also seeing the symptoms. But tonight, when the case was mentioned, she was completely healed. You see... This, these are the kinds of cases where it's not just a healing for the person. Grandfather died of it. You said father has it. Father has it. Mother, sister has, sister it. has it. Yes. Aunties. Huh? Yes. Everybody has it. Most of my aunties. My, my younger sister, my dad, just all of us. Like where are you from? Delta State. Delta State. In the name of Jesus, a beautiful lady, the devil should not rubbish your destiny. I cancel this yoke not just over your life but over your family in the name of jesus is gone now and gone forever in jesus you mentioned name. back pain apostle she came for personal prayers last week just on her own personal um, prayers as she was going back she felt like an arrow was shot in her back since last week she has been having that pain but as you mentioned it, hold the my pain hands is... in the name of jesus look at me look at me shout jesus jesus Yes, she please. had this pain in her chest and her stomach. She suspected it Our was lovely ulcer. Usher, you can imagine how hard, how wonderful, okay? She was suspecting it was ulcer, but she has never gone for diagnosis. But as you mentioned, the heaviness and the pain, Put everything your hand just on your left chest. in her stomach. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command that that devil goes back to hell. In the name of Jesus, give Jesus stand. praise. Now, everyone, please stand. Everyone, please stand. Oh, they're still... He's had a very mysterious headache, heaviness that just disappeared now as he mentioned the case. In the name of Jesus, come my friend. It never returns to you again. Every other person that has been touched by the power of God, we declare perfection for your body now. Hallelujah. Please, I want you to stretch, I want you to stretch your hands towards this prayer request. Stretch your hands and I want you to begin to declare that as you have dropped this request now in the name that is above all names the only thing you are permitted to pick is your testimony lift your voice and declare it in the name of the lord jesus christ i decree and declare by the power of the holy ghost Embra po shoto prete kete e karo sakatos kalamos en taro sekete kete kete. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray over this request. We decree and declare by the power of the Holy Ghost. Lord, let impossible situations. Please make sure everybody's request is here. Let impossible situations go. Please agree by faith as you pray. We're laying our hands on this request. In the name of Jesus, Jacos Caprakato Shadebakata, Embrekete Koto Shabragados. Father, in the name of Jesus, this is a representation of the faith of your people. You are the God that answers prayers. I ask, oh God, that you arise. Arise in power, 
arise in majesty arise in grace in the name of jesus turn the lives of your people around turn the lives of your people around turn the lives of your people around hallelujah i stand upon this request prophetically and i agree with you for some of you the things you have written here the truth is that only god can do them there's no man born of a woman that can do it in fact if you read some of the things for us even us who god has helped will have to doubt and say ah but thank god that the request is unto god father we present before you this request and in the name of jesus i declare that this request has supernaturally turned to testimonies they are supernaturally turned to testimonies in the name of jesus christ please stand if you can and receive the last prophecy and impartation I will continue to speak over your life and I will continue to release the anointing on your destiny until until your life becomes a picture of everything that God has said therefore please I want you to humble yourself and open up your heart and your spirit there is a lady you have been seeing You have been seeing yourself carrying children in dreams this is almost all most of your dreams that's all you are breastfeeding children you are carrying children you are with babies in the name of jesus every fraternity every fraternity with the gate of darkness in the name of jesus I'm praying for those people first i command that devil to leave you now once and for all once and for all hallelujah i'm praying for someone else i don't know why god is interrupting me now there is no night that you sleep without somebody coming to molest you i'm saying once you go to bed somebody must come to molest you whether it's a man whether it's a woman whether it's an animal that must happen to you you get up and physical things begin to be misplaced i'm praying right now for those people that this word is for in the name of jesus by the fire that comes from the throne of god i declare you and that demonic spirit be delivered now once and for all in the name of Jesus now I pray for you if there is anyone here called into ministry or anyone here in ministry but you are not seeing the signs the wonders the results that befit the anointing where are you I pray for you I stretch my hands right now in the name that is above all names I prophesy to your life catch fire catch fire catch fire catch fire he makes his ministers wings he makes his angels wings and his ministers flames of fire therefore I speak over your life catch fire healing fire deliverance fire breakthrough fire let it come upon you now in the name of Jesus now i speak over every crippled destiny you are trying to make progress and move but something is pinning you down and keeping you in one place in the name that is above all names by the power of the prophetic i shift you to the next level of your life please believe it i shift you to the next level of your life
for all those in business here and you're trusting God to stabilize you are up today and down tomorrow I stretch my hands in the name that is above all names may the grace for strange favor may the grace for favor come upon your business and lift you to a new dimension in the name of Jesus Christ every helper that must show up between now and October miracle service listen you heard the testimony of the gentleman here it just takes one genuine helper genuine sent by God I pray for you and I connect you to the helper that will turn your life around in the name of Jesus Christ I connect you to the helper that will turn your life around in the name of Jesus Christ listen every family here that is saying lord when will you visit us when will you wipe our tears when will you take reproach from our lives i'm declaring to you now by the force of favor may the lord turn your family's life around right now anyone here called barren or you are connected to anyone you know trusting God for the fruit of the womb in the name of Jesus we release their miracle children now I'm praying for anyone here trusting God for a job you are trusting God for a job or you have loved ones that are trusting God for a job in the name of Jesus I agree with you that between now and October miracle service return with your testimony the kind of favor ah, the favor that can turn your life overnight around I decree and declare may that favor and that grace locate you and turn your life around hallelujah now i want you to say amen to this prayer that i want to pray for you the problem that only you will have the anointing and the grace to solve that will pick you and bring you to notoriety in the name of jesus from the depth of my heart may that anointing come upon you now in the name of jesus christ 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 help that mama please listen your relevance is defined by the solutions you provide so when God wants to help you he will carry Joseph and put in him an ability to interpret Pharaoh's dream Joseph interpreted the dream of the buckler nothing happened when you interpret the dream of a man of influence you will not remain in the prison i pray for you again the grace the grace that will cause you to solve the problem of one who has the influence and the capacity to bless you receive that grace in the name of jesus anyone here or your family members due for promotion and have been kept down either by tribalism or religion or some kind of devilish factors in the name that is above all names we declare their promotion here we declare their promotion now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ now I agree with you whether I uniquely mention your issue or not whatever it is you came here believing in the name that is above all names i stretch my hands and i agree with you let it return to you as a speedy testimony <laughs> hallelujah
Lord, in this month of October, I'm, not, I'm, I'm the one asking for you. Father, a dimension of financial increase that your people have not seen. This has nothing to do with what you are doing. On, I'm praying for you. In the name that is above all names, I pray for you. May my God bring supplies to your life this month in a way that will bring tears of joy to your eyes. Finally, I pray for you. I don't know what dimension in the spirit you are crying that God brings you into. For some of you, God has helped you in the area of revelation. But you truly need the gifts of the spirit to walk in your life. For some of you, you have seen the gifts of the spirit walk, but you need a higher dimension. For some of you, you need comprehension into the word of God. For some of you, you need the grace for prayer. You are not lazy. The grace is just not there. For some of you, you need faith and courage. Capacity to believe God for impossible things. It doesn't matter what category. I stretch my hands and I declare whatever spiritual blessing you desire, I stretch my hands to you now. Let it come upon you right 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 now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let it come upon you right now. I'm still praying it. Let it come upon you. Prophetic fire. Let it come upon you. Visions and dreams. Visions and dreams. Let it come upon you. The grace to interpret visions and dreams. Let it come upon you. The gifts of healing. Let it come upon you. Tongues. Interpretation of tongues. The gifts of wisdom. The gifts of leadership. Administration. Let it come upon you in Jesus name. Father we give you thanks. We thank you. I decree and declare. The blessing that is upon Nigeria. The grace that has made Nigeria indestructible after 58 years. May that same grace keep your life intact. If Nigeria is not dead after 58 years, I forbid death from your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. You are here and you are saying, Apostle, I need Jesus. You heard the prayer of our dear lady here, the sister that came requesting for her father. In the name of Jesus, listen carefully. I know we are trying to settle down. In the name of Jesus, that lady, I curse the spirit. That, that lady you are with. I command that devil. Let her go now. Look at the kind of wild, wild spirit. These are the kinds of spirits that, that make people manifest as stubborn it doesn't mean they are bad when a stubborn spirit is working in your life it will reflect that's why you find out that they don't listen no matter what you tell them they never listen these are the spirits in the name of jesus christ i set this lady free we believe you are mightily blessed to connect with the ministry and get more from apostle joshua selman follow us on facebook and twitter at Koinonia ENI to stream Koinonia live, go to mixler.com forward slash Koinonia hyphen radio and download the teachings on koinoniasermons.org. For questions and inquiries, call 0814 721 4444 or 0907 777 7853. We love and celebrate.
kindly share with us. Thank you for watching. In the name of Jesus, drought in your life, that even when it is physical rainy season, it is still dry season spiritually, financially and otherwise, I decree and declare, let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain